All right, we are live. Hello, everyone. Say hi to Sue and Thomas and, of course, Kat. Hello, everybody. Hi, guys. Welcome to the first installment of Divorce Court. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Tom. Tom and I can survive this. We might be able to survive anything. So let me say hi to some people. So hello, Belinda, Book Bewitched, Annette, Judy. Ah, uh, let's see. My BFF, Susie Marr is my BFF. She calls me Girlene. So she says Girlene in the house. <laughs> that was. That's awesome. Tammy Renee Walker. Oh, this is awesome. And Trisha, awesome. Well, for those of you who met me before, hello again. And this is my husband, Thomas Lynch, the one and only in the flesh. And I would like to call these other two women who are hosting tonight his sister wives because he loves them <laughs> as much as me. And he talks about them constantly, sometimes at inappropriate times. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Tom, introduce yourself. Hi, Tom. Hi, Trisha. Hi, world. <laughs> We're so happy to hear that. I'm going to give him the full screen so he can tell yeah, you. Yeah, there he is. Don't be, don't be jelly, girls. He's all mine. <laughs> That's it. That's my man. Don't sound look so disappointed, Tom. I know. <laughs> that That's why Manny is like pouting. Um, Can you see the chat? Oh, Tom, you have to hit the comments on the right and then you'll see the chat. Yeah. Then you'll be able to see it. You can't type in there though. You're doing it on your phone? Yeah. So he's on his phone. He may not be able to see the chat. I'll read. I'll read. I'm trying to get the chat open in my um, on my computer, and I can't. Okay. All right. You do that. <laughs> Don't let the people hear you snap at me because they love me. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at this. I love you too, Suzanne. Thanks for coming. So, Suzanne, look at Kat. Oh, she doesn't have it in her lap. Suzanne has two chihuahuas. Um, oh. And Kat, look at Kat's camera, Suzanne. That's her Dexter. Yep. He's a little toy. Isn't he so cute, Suz? It's nice to see you. Maybe I can get our Dexter up here. So, all my life, I was always afraid of dogs. Never touched a dog. Never would touch a dog. Never would be near a dog. I was attacked and bitten as a kid. And then my BFF asked us for a big favor. Could we watch her dog? Aww. So, her dog is a little chihuahua. And he wasn't taking that you don't love me for an answer. Yep. So, he just... <laughs> that I loved him and that's Perfect. how I, so that's how we became um, lovers I hear the song <laughs> from Mr. Eddie's father when I see the dog you know let me tell you the story about my best friend I cry when the dog leaves she uh she gives me visitation when she travels so I get him sometimes at like 10 days and then I fight with Tom because Tom's like, you want to come with me, Dexter? You want to come with me? I mean, Jackson. His name is Jackson. So we fight over the love. That's awesome. Oh, I'm That's so awesome. happy to see everybody here. My, my doppelganger, Sue Golombowski, you know, sometimes we are always confused with each other. And I get Sue Golombowski invoices. And I'm sure she gets <laughs> Yeah, and depending on who the seller is, they just have not figured out that we're two people. Oh. <laughs> so, Sue, if you could pay for the stuff that you send me, that would be great. But have it have for our address. Yeah, yeah just pay for it and send it to me. Hi, Jeannie. Hey, Jeannie. Chicago All right, I'm going to get caught up with everybody, hopefully. Sue Dolfetsky, Belinda Carroll, Tammy Renee Walker, Trisha, Christina, Book, 
Who else is in here? Uh, Jeannie, Judy. Who am I missing? I think that's, that's all. And everybody, so speak up if you're here, so we know you're here. Yeah. Did you say hi to Tammy? Tammy Renee. Tammy Renee. Where's Lisa? Not, not, the phone, not into the computer. Roxana Sellers. Oh, cool. Hi, Roxana. Did you ever, did you ever the get the new doll for the cats? Do I? <laughs> Look at that. I, told, I, I, I don't know whether or not to be flattered or offended because oh. all these quote unquote ugly dolls look just the frick like me. <laughs> not. This is scary. I'm not scary. <laughs> but it reminded me of you because of the orange hair, the red hair. That's right. My lovely red hair. I love it. Mm -hmm. You should have worn Belinda before you put it up there, though. Oh, um, I'm so sorry, Belinda, I forgot. I oh, and Susie, your BFF. I didn't say hi to her. I'm sorry, Susie. Yes, Susie Moore. We um, have <laughs> been friends for about 25 years. That's awesome. She's really the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> I make fun of her all the time, and she lets me. Well, that's what a friend does. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> hey, Pamela. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Pamela. Tom, your other friend is here, Pamela Blanchard. I know. The big knife. Yeah, and I can see you're starting to smile because you're on the like a phone. <laughs> is she a sister? You, can, you can keep working on trying to get on the computer while, while we... I don't know how to do that. Well, you got to get you out of email jail because it's in your inbox somewhere. I can't do it. It's going to take too long. You won't do it. You know, this is the price you pay if you want to be a star on YouTube. Yeah, that's right. right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kat, do you want me to start or you, you want to start? or Whatever you want, Dina. I was just going to say, uh, we're so excited for you to be on. I, I know. It's amazing. I wanted, I did not want to have to delay it from the other night, but. I was scared that we were going to lose everything with our storms coming through. And luckily, we just, it kind of skirted by us. I mean, we had some wind and rain, but whew, I hope everybody gets that lucky. Judy, how is your weather? You said it was coming up that way. How are you feeling? Sorry. Oh, no. You can butt in anytime. We don't care. We butt in on each other all the time. We do. All right. So, all right. We butt in on each other. That works. That works. All right. All right. Okay. So, I'm just going to show a couple of things and then we'll go over to Kat. Sue and Thomas, you can butt in at any time during this. I'm just doing business. You can do the fun. Okay. You got it. <laughs> uh, one of you's got the sound down. You have sound coming through both. You have to choose one for the sound. Okay. You have to need everything, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with this. Let's see what Pam's Pam. Pam. <laughs> Excuse me. This is a lesson of Virgin Mary. Is what I would call it. Um, All right, I'm gonna start baby. with the religion thing. You want me? I can't make any jokes about the Virgin Mary. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get so, there. I can't. I can't. I can make jokes about you. If yeah, you let there me. you go. That works too. Uh, it does have like, it needs some good scrubbing right down on the inside. But they had like fake flowers shoved down in there. So I just pulled those bad boys out. It doesn't have any chips or cracks or anything. It's number 1761. It's Mark Lefton on the bottom. She's about this big. 
the painting they did on this was pretty exquisite compared to the ones I saw online. They a lot of them were just the plain white color, and this one's actually got all the nice colors in it. It's got the blue and the pink and the yellow for the hair with the gold on the halo and everything. So she's in really pretty good condition. She's got one tiny little flea bite right there on the gold on her sleeve. But that's the only place I saw anywhere on it. I ran my hands around it. But um in pretty good condition. So she is going to be fifteen dollars and she is number one. So she is going to be $15 and she is number one. So she is going to be $15 and she is number one. And then my second item, I'm going straight from a religious thing to a David doll. <laughs> <laughs> And Tom, you don't need a second one. You don't need to be in every room. Oh, no. so, this one's got its tag. And again, got the instructions sewn on to it right here. This is kind of like a paisley kind of fabric on this one. It's got this little yarn hair. About this big. So anybody that doesn't know what a damn it doll is. This is essentially to take your frustration yeah. out on the, onto a, like an actual living, breathing human being. So, <laughs> whenever things don't go so well and you want to hit the wall and yell, here's a little damn it doll that you can't do without. Just grasp it firmly by the legs and find a place to slam it. And as you find the stepping out, you know, damn it, damn it, damn it. And it says www.dammitdoll.com right there. So this one's still new with its little tag. And that's just where, you know, what's in it. But it's going to be ten dollars number two. I like the yeah, I like the colors on this one. Look, he's got little X's for eyes. That all perfect all for you. <laughs> I did have to. I do have to say that I he bought one from one of the two of you, right? I think he bought it from yeah, Gina. Yeah. From the he bought it from Gina. So that's right. So I know. Actually, did hear him one night inside <laughs> hitting the thing and saying, "Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it!" <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't me, you know. <laughs> but he, he did use it once. And he got over the tantrum, so I guess we're all right. There you go. It, it worked. worked. <laughs> oh, we've got some new people See? coming in. She's After offering Ms. testimonial Dugan, on it. The New England Thrifter, Mary Dugan, uh, Chad, Julia. I love to say this name more than anything. Barbara Ambundo. <laughs> amazing. I love it. It's a great name. All right, I gotta tell y'all something real quick because I laughed so hard before I came on here. My son was trying to be helpful. You know, the intent was there. I come walking in, and I was like, why is my plant moved? And I start looking at it, and he was like, Oh, I watered it for you. I was like, Honey, that's a fake plant. He poured oh. water. <laughs> I said, I don't think it's going to grow. I'm just saying. I don't know. <laughs> well, he was trying to do this. So he was trying. He was like, well, it looks kind of wilted. I was like, it's a fake plant. How does it look wilted? <laughs> well, over the last two days, <laughs> I've been obviously worried about you and the storms in Florida and everything going on. And, you know, my thoughts went to, you know, what, is it just the internet down? Is she out of electricity? Like how bad is the bad? And I said, what if this happened? She goes in the fridge and all she's got is catfish 
and Cheetos. Right? <laughs> so I pictured Gina making, you know, first of all, she goes into the car to talk to us. And she'll come and she'll be like, I'm green. I don't feel good. I didn't have no cap. I told Kat I needed some half and half. She didn't give me no half and half. So I have no caffeine. And I'm here in the car in a thunderstorm. I'm trying to get some goods for you people. And all I got home is catfish and Cheetos. So I'm going to go back home. I'm going to make the Cheeto casserole. Try and feed the kids. Guess what? The kids won't eat it. But the good news is the ferrets <laughs> loved it. The ferrets loved that catfish and Cheetos casserole. <laughs> They probably would. They probably would be right. <laughs> Where did Thomas go? He clicked out on us again. Oh, no. He didn't like his three sister wives, I guess. He's, He's like, like, too much. much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> running out. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Julia. Linda. Right. I'm going to put Cat on when he gets back. I'll put him back on there. Okay. Okay, y'all. The first thing I have to show you today is this elephant planter. And he is so cute, and he's just hugging that leaf. I guess it's, yeah, it's a leaf. Um, he almost looks like he's Majolica. I picked up a few of these before. These are uh, Japan pieces. They're not marked. Um, but how cute is this guy? Look at his face. He is so happy to be hugging that leaf. Sorry, guys, I have Dexter in my lap, so I can't reach over. He's about four by four, and he, he's about this big. And he is very mid-century. And he is $18, number 62, for this cute elephant plant. Yes, Mary Dugan, it's Sue Spezio. How are you? I'm my husband, Thomas Lynch. And don't you all want this? Elephant molesting a tree stump. <laughs> he is kind of molesting it, isn't he? I mean, that's what we call it in Jersey, you know. <laughs> that's why he's smiling like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To it too. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I, I can't I can't not do cat since I did kitten. I mean since I, since I did Gina. So I like to think of the kitten. That's what I call cat. <laughs> as um, the seller whisperer, like in the terms of like the horse whisperer. So Cat, my kitten, talks in the sweetest, slow, quiet voice and will hold something up and will say, this is a chopstick. You don't have to use it as a chopstick. <laughs> it's about this big. If I hold it this way, it's this big. Rick and I have been collecting chopsticks since we've gotten married. And we're a tiny home in Gina's backyard. So they're Gina every day. And Rick sometimes uses the chopstick for other things, and I yell. But I really can't raise my voice above this level because I can't yell. I'm not capable <laughs> Everything I hold up is beautiful, and you want it. It's so beautiful that you don't even realize you're buying it from me because my <laughs> is so good that I make you want everything I hold up. Even then, I can hold up turd. You would want it. In fact, you would get into a bid war for it. And Gina has no idea that I'm the one with the power in this relationship. <laughs> you damn loud. And if you compare selling, I sell more than Gina. Gina is <laughs> right. Because I have the power, the hypnotic power. Gabrielle Lish. Gabrielle Lish. Gabrielle Lish. Please buy this. Please buy this elephant. This elephant will go fine. I have to say, Gabrielle Lish, I saw you live the other day and i don't play this way but if i if i did i found you to be stunningly beautiful <laughs> and i got a little bit of a girl crush oh, yeah. Honestly, God, Gabby's, Gabby's adorable i know beautiful. she's beautiful so you're making me cry 
<laughs> it is. It is Nate. She's impressioning me. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. I really am. <laughs> I still can't sell it. For you. I still can't sell it. I'm trying. <laughs> Pamela, I I only wish I had those powers. <laughs> Rick has to come see you, Sue. I've I've told him that. Okay. Oh, I'm ready for Rick. <laughs> oh, I know you are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My makeup's going to be all over my face. <laughs> I'm wanting to laugh at the way I present now. <laughs> I have an original Bluebird of Happiness, like from back in the day with his actual paperwork. He is a special gift for you. <laughs> um, I have not pulled this sticker all the way back because I figured people might want it on here. It is no, not. not like him. The only person on camera right now is her. Is he back? He better be back. Okay, so if this. Oh, sorry, Sue. Go ahead. I, I, I don't know. What Tom. That. Tom got lost and fell out of the room. We're trying to get him back in. Oh, no. Um, it is signed right here. It's Byron Hicks, and this is a larger bluebird. It's three inches tall and four inches long, so it is going to go larger. One. And I'm just going to sell him. For there he is. Here we go. He made it All back. Right. Now, $20 is a good price. I have a, a couple of questions. Did okay. you rub his beak? And is the, is the beak intact? Yeah, it is. I checked before. Because the community doesn't want busted up beaks. I, I know. They <laughs> so then here's the other thing. To my mm -hmm. fellow buyers, how do we get so hip? to these things. Two years ago, I never knew a bluebird of happiness existed. Then one seller sold a bluebird of happiness. Now all us fools have to have a bluebird. And if there's not a bluebird, somebody will try and sell us like a penguin. So <laughs> we went through the fairy lamp phase, right? We had to all have a fairy lamp. Then we had to have a clear fairy lamp, right? Now we got to get this damn bluebird. <laughs> so if you don't have your own bluebird, you're not in the cool kid club. The cool <laughs> buyers have bluebirds of happiness. You need this in your life. And it comes in sizes. What would you say the measurements are? <laughs> this, this is a jumbo. Oh, it's a jumbo. <laughs> she would know because she's not in the contain. <laughs> He is about three inches tall and four inches long. <laughs> oh, I know. You need this. You need this. And only $20. I promise you, I have seen this for a lot more money on other sellers. So this is like, <laughs> like you got the Sue Spezio discount card tonight. <laughs> Belinda's going to pick that up. <laughs> Look at <Thank> Belinda. <laughs> Belinda, you had me at hello. No. Oh. It is a fat bluebird, Barb. And hello, Barb. Um, that was two, Tina. All um, right. Hi, oh. Dexter. Kathy says her face hurts. Gabby, we're just getting started. You better relax that face. <laughs> oh, <there's> the <laughs> By the end of this, you're going to be like in traction or something. Tommy's got our baby boy, Dexter, Aww. on screen. That is so cool. Dexter, meet Dexter. Your Dexter is adorable. How old is Dexter? 11. Oh, he doesn't look 11. He's wearing a Grinch thing for you. I don't hear your mic. I don't know if your mic is. What is the cat wearing? Oh, what did we dress him in? What do you got him in? He has on a Grinch costume. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're, the, we're those weirdos that dress our cat. That's why he doesn't like us. <laughs> I just want to know how you do it because if I tried to dress my cat, she would claw the heck out of me. No. 
Hi, Christina Taylor. Hi, like my it. dear love, Sony. <laughs> I don't think your mic is working either, honey. I'm hearing all Tom's jokes. He's being very witty. But I don't know why his voice is not coming through. Oh, you hear him? I don't hear him. No, they don't hear you. I can't see him. Does he have it muted? Are you talking into your phone? Did you just put yourself on mute? I don't know, something's wrong with this thing. I don't know what's He's oh, getting frustrated. Wrong with this thing. I, I, oh, there you are. Yeah, that's it. That worked. Yeah. 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 Now tell the world. Tell the world. Which of us you love the most? Don't lie. Of course you, honey. Aww. Oh. That's what you <laughs> tell all of us. Hi, Robert. I'm glad you're here. Like Abby said, you might need a diaper. <laughs> I warn people. If they didn't take my warning on Instagram about wedding themselves, I don't know what else to do. So I'm pointing not to your face anymore. That's like, you know. I can't get it to work. They are. They are. That was my way of warning you, and you didn't take it, so I can't help you. All right. So, ha ha ha. I guess I did for Katie. Where's Katie at? Barbley, I am from New Jersey. <laughs> I learned that early on. Talking to Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus has a little bit of Jersey sometimes too, because it's like Southern Jersey. It's just yeah. attitude. That's it's what it is. That's I just it's have fine. my two kids, the cats. There's a gator in the back. He don't watch. He'll be dinner tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, times get tough. <laughs> All right, I've got this joys of Jello. That's cool. Book. And it's from, I think it was 1970, is what I read in here. Gabby, Somewhere no, around there, anyway. I live in Essex County, Gabby. This Jello book would be perfect for Katie because that's like her little moniker, right? That she eats ba bad tasting Jellos. Oh, yeah. There's, cool. there's plenty of them in here, too. All done. There was one I saw earlier that just, I, I gagged when I read it. <laughs> There's one with tuna salad. If you want congealed tu tuna salad. Oh, look at this. Molded entree salad. Ham and cheese with vegetables. That sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. That makes me nauseous. Just <laughs> Mm, anyway, there's a lot. Oh, there's an apple tuna mold. They look pretty. What a great combination. Yeah. Here you go. Here's, this one is Sea Dream because it's got shrimp on top of it. That is so freaking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> How do people eat that? It I might be care. good. You don't know. Gabby. <laughs> If, if, yes, now that we're Instagram friends, because they made me go on Instagram, let me know when you're in New Jersey and Tom will cook you dinner. Aww. Is that okay, Tom? <laughs> <Barb>. <laughs> anyway, there's some cool pictures in here if you don't like the recipes. Although, there's a couple of them that sound pretty good. Like the sweet ones sound good, but I'm not sure about the savory ones, personally. Like chicken mousse and all that kind of stuff. I don't know about all that. But anyway, it's five dollars number thirteen. You say I gave it number thirteen. Yeah, I, I did that on purpose. Let me keep. I'm gonna keep fucking around with trying to get your. In your in, in your, I can't get it to come up. I can I hear you now. Wait, you can hear me now. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I got you now. You just heard what he said was that I can't get it to come up. Yep. 
<laughs> Not touching that with a 10 foot pole. Y'all can discuss over there. I hope he's talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have the uh, Avon. What is this? The Country Peaches Soap Jar. And it's in here, new in the box. The box is a little worn out looking. But the soaps are still in there. Still got the paper in here. There's one of those wire bell jars, the blue. Mm, still smells good, too. Smell. But anyway, <laughs> I always do that. I want y'all to smell it, and you can't. So anyway, the soaps are still in there. It is Avon. It's one of the turquoise glass jars, the wire bell jars. And it is new in its little box. So you could display it with the box if you wanted to. And it's going to be $8 number four. See me? And I guess it's about that. All right, big. honey, listen, we know you whisper, but you're muted, so we really don't hear you. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I'm just talking away. Um, this is a really cute, pretty hummingbird. And it is a pin. It is or a brooch. I'm sorry. It is not marked. It has a beautiful jeweled eye right here, like a red rhinestone. I had to That's get it. I, isn't it pretty? It's in great shape. I, unfortunately, I don't know how old it is. I don't know if it's vintage or not. But I think it's still pretty old. It's Gabby, my, I just joined just last week, so I don't really have much posted, but my Instagram name is Raggedy Susie, one word. Like Raggedy Ann, but Raggedy Susie. Did we lose him again? Again. Yes. He can't deal with us. His three wives. I just lost this whole thing again. No. He's going to keep trying and hacking to see if he can clean out enough inbox to come in through the computer. Okay. I can't do it. Okay. The next item is this really pretty stained glass box. Um, it is mirrored in here. This is hard. I'm trying to, to blind you guys. It's so cute. Look at these birds. Does yeah. it look like being a Tom? Yeah. Look. look you could have your own Mm -hmm. Little capturing of Susie and Tom sitting in a tree. Okay. okay. And, this. and every time you touch that box, you'll think of us. Exactly. Which one are you, Sue? Again, I'm not going to touch that with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> I'm the fat one. I can't get this to work. I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay. So this is really interesting. Look what it's labeled. I don't know if I can get it to show. It's Walmart, made in Taiwan. It just cracked me. I had no idea that Walmart made products like this. But it, it's in really good shape. And it, it's Sue and Thomas. They can go home with you. Um, it's obviously, it's a trinket box and it still opens just fine. It's in really good shape. And it is $14, number 65. That's adorable. It's pretty really cute, isn't it? I don't know if Barb is talking to you, Sue, or if she's talking to Gabby. Um. Well, oh my name, oh, Barb. My name is Raggedy Susie. I can't type because I don't have the uh, ability to type in here. But Raggedy Susie, one word. And yeah, I well, just joined. I don't have anything except for like one picture. I can share it in the chat in just a second, actually. Yeah, book. It'd be good for buttons. I remember how you got all those buttons last week. I think it's a. I would put jewelry in it. 
Okay, Dina, that is my two. If I clean it out, I'm gonna lose now, it. You're on mute. I'm really screwing with you girls. You're getting all confused. No, I'm, I was over here chewing on food, so I had myself muted, so I wasn't like, wow. <laughs> My what son actually have? brought me food, so it was like, mm -hmm. trying to at the last second to eat something here. All right, so I have two little uh, Wedgwood trinkets. Ooh. Glossy Wedgwood. Guys, you don't get to see the glossy that often. Does it feel good? <laughs> oh, it feels so nice. Does it feel nice, right? You can, just, you can just sit there and stroke it. It's just so wonderful. But <laughs> <laughs> the only problem is they each have like a little chippy. Like that. There's one. There's a chip right there on that one, which it's Wedgwood, so you don't really see it because it just goes through. But there's a little chip right there. And on the opposite corner on this one. So that's the only issues with either of them. They are marked on the back. I'm not even going to try to say that. We'll let, uh, there you go. Nate's going to tell us all about it because I can't. <laughs> Thank God he's here. Uh, it's the Queensware Wedgwood. Yeah. It does say Queensware on the back. Very good, Nate. He knows his he knows his Wedgwood. He's the Wedgwood Whisperer. Sorry, but this is not working. There's just too much right. to your I, I can't do it. I'm stop cursing. Okay. Oh. Anyway, for the two I, I I never put it on solo. I always forget that. Oh, right. he's going to tell you to make me a mod because I pasted uh, Susan. You're not a mod. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I control you. <laughs> Keep you from having any power. But anyway, <laughs> this two wedge was. It's going to be ten dollars, number twenty-eight. That's a bargain. Well, oh, look at that. It. Nate's telling us all about it. That's cool, Nate. Huh. I'm with Queen Charlotte. I kind of like the the glossy, the glaze. And I got Trisha for that. Thank you, Trisha. Let me write it down because you know my brain. I'll keep it. I'll keep it in here for like two seconds, then it'll be gone forever. So all right. Let me figure out what number this one was. Thank you, Sorry, Julia. I have got it over. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I have um, this really pretty teacup and saucer. It's Royce, Royal Sea Lee. And it's the fruit pattern. That, it's got the three feet on the bottom with. The nice gold work. And it's got fruit on both sides. And on the inside, it's got it right there. And it is luster wear. It's got that nice luster to it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is luster. And it's got the brush gold around the top, which I always like that really brush gold. That you really like that brush gold look. I don't know. Every time I see that, I'm just like, oh, antique. I don't know. But, uh, and here's the saucer that goes with it. No chips or cracks. It's in really good shape. But you could have it like that. You could put the little saucer stand behind it and have it like that. But nice little set. Um, this is about the size of the teacup. So it's a bigger one. And it is going to be for... This set, um, twelve dollars, number twenty-five. I don't get where you actually see it. And that's my two. That was so pretty, Junior. 
Yeah, I didn't know what it was. I had to do some research on it. I figured it was something like that. I did some research on it and I pulled it up on eBay and I was like, wow, those actually go for a good bit of money. But I don't do that on here. I don't try to chop your heads off. <laughs> All right. Cat. Okay. Okay, guys. I have four of these adorable owl figurines. They're all dressed as people. They're really, really cute. I'm doing it. I think these two are my favorite. No, I'm so Are you suing Thomas, too? Going a girl. They You're are, right. Right? Yep. Pretty cute. And then these could as well. So there's two pairs, or there's four total. Um, if anyone is interested, they could be $3 each or $6 a pair or $12 if you want all four. They're all different. I think they're absolutely adorable. I had never seen these before. Is that Tom? <laughs> We're still trying. It's okay. Anyway, these are $3 each. If you would like to pick one or $2 for a pair or four for 12. If anyone's interested in these little miniature owls. Your phone's totally useless. I can hold it like that. Or you can just type in the chat if you're interested. Thanks. They all know me. They're owls, so I had to pick them up. Okay. And the next item I have. Okay, everybody, it looks like I'm back. Now, this is like me and Gina. Salty and peppy. <laughs> <laughs> which one's which <laughs> I think well we both can be salty at times for sure <laughs> most of the time and I'm usually not very peppy so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not either <laughs> but look how cute they are they're in really really good shape they both have a little bit of crazing I don't know if y'all will even be able to see it but they're old and they are Japan pieces and they have their original stoppers. I don't know what this HA is, but the other one, I don't know, A L H H. I have no idea what that is. If anyone knows, you can let me know. I don't know if somebody just put their initials on these, but they are so cute. These are big. I don't think I'm on, honey. The camera's on, but it's not doing anything. Hi, Say hi to Julia. I've never seen um, ceramics labeled salty and peppy, just the wood ones. That's pretty cute. They're really cute. And I think they're pretty hard to find. Oops. I'm trying to get the card. And Gina and I are $18. Number 54. Yay, Rich. Gina. <laughs> so tell hey, it looks like I'm back. Yeah. So who's salty and who's peppy? In our relationship? Yes. Better answer carefully. <laughs> Tommy, who's salty? Who's, I, I would say <laughs> I'm salty. Um, and Tom would probably be Montreal steak sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, look, Gina. Oh, look at that. <laughs> but so I scored, I scored that last week. It's from Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey. It has the tag, and that's out of business now. So don't be jelly about how I'm going to have like a million dollar house one day because I snatched this up for a dollar. That's true. That's awesome, Sue. Where did you get? I don't like that, Tom. I thought you were not liking these. Look at how cute. They're like cousins. 
They are hey, alike. Almost- <laughs> Remember that with Patty Duke? Because we're cousins. We're two of a kind. <laughs> uh, they should live a For life together. Can. They should. I might have to send hey, you. Yeah, yeah. Her, her little love doll. Her little love doll. One with the... Uh, One with the... Uh, the one with the thread the wrapped the around, thread wrapped around. Wrapped it, we'll sew it together. Oh, yeah. yeah. The one for Gina. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Over here. I can go yeah, get it. Yeah. <laughs> Stu, you saw that doll, right? The one with the oh, purple. Oh. That was like the doll that had polio? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Tom has others to show. Um, we could give Tom a little show and tell time before we lose him again. You want to show a couple other things, babe? I think he should. I want to see the one All without right. any wigs. All right. So Tommy knows that I like really bizarre dolls. And he's helpful in trying to find them for me. Oh, I definitely have. They're, they're ready for you to show them. Oh, I got one. Oh, you got to be prepared. The people don't want to wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you get the ones from the bed? No. no. Oh, they're, they're the good ones. Okay, here comes one. Here we go. Here we go. You got you to watch your lighting, honey, because they can't see it. Come to the other side. Go the other way. And left the other way. There you go. There you go. Go towards the light. <laughs> yeah, Gabby, Gabby, I'm Italian. I didn't speak English when I started school. I got I, special. Regina. I don't like that he buys these girls. <laughs> I don't think it's funny. I like that one. I kind of like it too. I don't. And like, whose heart are you stabbing? Yeah, who are you doing that to? That is not part of my collection. That is not going with my fun stuff. <laughs> I think it's cute. It's pretty cute. Barb, you're the, going. That's just, for, just for you, Gene. Yeah, see, the, the, the people are scared. Show something <laughs> less. Less, less scary. Oh, Gina likes scary the better. That's right. See, I I gotta say, while he's getting prepared for the next one, I gotta say that Tom and I have a couple of uh, marriage rules, and uh, one is that uh, we don't call each other names. Well, to each other's face, anyway. I mean, I, mean, I call them names, but it's back. <laughs> to each other's face, we don't call each other names. Um, we never randomly throw out the divorce word. Right. Oh, and this one, I turn her a little bit, honey. So this one is, she's got a nail screwed into her face. Turn her a little. There's the nail. Pick her up. Move her a little over. She's got serpents around her neck. Nice. And, and dead bones wrapped around her body. This was a, this is like the best, right? And she's a redhead. <laughs> I, I love it. it. That's awesome. She's like a yeah. perfect. So the other thing is that we always kiss each other goodnight, even if we're mad. So in 25 years of wait, hold, hold, hold. <laughs> the in the 25 don't... years we're together, Gina has said to him more times. A sentence that I have never said to him that I've always wanted to say, and she says it so brilliantly. <laughs> Shut up, Thomas. There you go. <laughs> Shut up, Thomas. Shut up, Thomas. I have been loving Gina telling him to shut up. I've never, 24 years, never told my husband to shut up. <laughs> I was telling Angela Marks where we got to send T-shirts to you guys that say "Shut up, Thomas." Oh, we need that. <laughs> I'll send one to both. What's your next little thing that you want to show, babe? Hmm. What do we got? There's two on the bed in a plastic bag. 
Uh, you take a break. He'll be back with two more dolls later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That was turn to find. We'll give you time to get prepped up, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> when you're in these live streams, you got to have it ready to go, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> These people don't want to wait. <laughs> hey, Kathy. Okay, so next, I'm sorry, I'm choking over a tall bus over there. Um, I have this uh, American Airline. It is Avon. It's the turquoise top hat with the swirl on the outside. It is glass. It still has a sticker. Really good shape. No cracks, any, no damage anywhere on it. You know this is my color. Yeah. So I had to run towards it when I saw it. I was like, glass in my color. Here I go. So it's going to be $8 number 23. About this big. I think that's like a, a top hat. hat. Right? Like a top hat. Yeah. yeah. Me like a little and top Ginger hat. Roger dancing all around it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could put like the picks in it or like toothpicks or whatever you wanted to in it. Tommy and I or made it a date. Like That's right. I love your story. You can have a, you new, can have a new party. Pad. Um. Oh yeah, we haven't heard about uh your story about going to the beach or the ocean. Oh, yeah. We have to hear that. All right. Whenever you're ready, I'll tell it. Okay. okay let me get finished with this and let's hit it because I want to hear this. I've been waiting <laughs> okay. for over a week to hear the story. Okay. Okay. So, these cute little kitschy pink dogs are salt and pepper or salt and salt or pepper and pepper. I don't know. They're shakers anyway. They're at Mark Japan. They do have their stoppers. The little uh, bamboo, uh, not bamboo, cork. Golly, my brain's dead. Stoppers in them. And they are going to, uh, I'm going to do an offer up on these. Uh, Christina, I got you for the hat. Thank you, honey. Gina, they're twerking. I said they're twerking. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. <laughs> I really. I think. Are they monkeys or dogs? They're like dogs. Dog. Yeah. Their face looks like a monkey. Kinda. They're whatever you want them to be. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. They got polka dots on them. They're so cute. And they're pink. And I'm gonna do an offer up on these. Um, if anyone's interested. I'm going to start at 15, 1, 5. So I'll give it a couple of minutes for y'all to decide if you want those. You get to and decide what animal it is. That's the glory of it. Well, is it, that's it. Is it, that's it. It gives you something to do. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you know those little... Uh, what the the dogs uh the not thong what do you call the little dogs the little asian looking dogs is it thong oh, no. Sharpay? no you know like the little statues oh, that they do? foo dog foo thank you so see their faces are kind of weird looking too yeah so i don't know Pug, yeah, maybe. I'm not real sure. But anyway. They're so cute. They're about this big. <laughs> you can set them up on your counter like this if you wanted to. <laughs> How you want you wanted to do it. <laughs> they are an offer up. They're starting at 15 if anybody is interested. And I'm going to go back to Thomas so we can hear all about his story. <laughs> all right. So this is how the story goes. Tom's not going to tell us. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Hold on. I didn't know Sue's going to tell it. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm gonna> tell <laughs> it. 
There so, we go. Um, or we could split screen us if you want, whatever, whatever works. So Tommy and I have been together uh, since 1995. And I, I, I like to think of our relationship in two parts. So the first half of our relationship was before I was disabled. And the second half is after I got disabled. So before, when I was not disabled, we did everything. We traveled. We went everywhere. We loved snorkeling and, uh, you know, lots of activities. We did the Grand Canyon. You know, we did a lot of stuff. But after I became disabled, the beach and snorkeling was no longer an option because I can't, I can't manage to try and walk in sand. It's not possible. So we were in Bermuda a couple of years ago on a cruise and Tommy uh, wore shorts that were also like a bathing suit. You know how the men wear those, like they could be either or. So we happened to be by a beach. And I said to him, Tommy, you haven't been in the ocean in years. You love it. Go in. I don't care. It doesn't matter. And he's like, no, if you can't go, I'm not going to go. I'm like, you know, I get it, but you don't get an opportunity to go to the ocean that office. I said, look, there's a covered area over there with shade. There's a band playing, you know, Calypso music. I can get a cocktail and, and you know, you can go in the ocean and, you know, take your time. I'm fine. So I see Tom. You know, I, I get in position so that I could watch him. So I, I see watch. Tom get in the ocean. And, you know, the ocean's big. But it's not too big for Tom because he found people to talk to in the water. So, like, you know, he swims up to, like, you know, three or four women, probably Gina and Kat, and, and just starts to chat. Now, I'm watching Tom like a mother watches their kid, not like a wife watches their husband. Because I don't want him to die. And there's no life, you know, there's no lifeguard or anything. So I'm saying to myself, why the hell is he up these women's butts? Like, there's a whole ocean. Move over. Like, leave the women to gossip. So after a little while, he must have got the hint. And he was on his own. And I'm watching him bob up and down and, you know, splash himself and dip and whatever. And then, all of a sudden... Tom comes out of the water like an undersea serpent and starts running towards the shore, towards me. Now, if you didn't grow up with your husband or boyfriend and he's not athletic, I never saw Tom run in 25 years. So this was the first time in 25 years I saw him run. And run, he was running and running through the shore. I was like, oh, my God, he must miss me so much. Like, he can't wait to get to me. I should order a drink so I have it waiting for him when he gets here. So he gets to me, to the shore. He's as winded as all hell. He can hardly catch his breath. And I said to him, oh, babe, that was so exciting. It was like watching Baywatch run to me. You were so sexy. So... <laughs> In the meanest, meanest voice possible, he said to me, you had to make me go in the water, right? I was like, yeah, what happened? He goes, lionfish. I was like, what's a lionfish? He goes, I'm underwater. This fish comes up with me and shows me his teeth. He said, I will shit myself in the ocean. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever go back to it again. I, 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 he was white as a ghost. And here I was having like a whole little fantasy about, oh, my husband's going to come running to me. He misses me. So that's the last time Tommy hit the, hit the beach. <laughs> if you don't know what a lionfish looks like, look up its teeth and you'll know why he got scared. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me choke. I can't breathe. Oh my Trisha, god! Trisha's here. I have I have a, a a two word Trisha impersonation. Trisha, do I have your permission? I won't do it without permission. <laughs> Trisha's got a secret feisty side to her. She really Don't you think? She uh -huh. I think she was the, she was the Girl Scout that was behind the schoolyard. 
with Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Right? She's, she's too pure. Okay, so here's the thing. This is what Tommy and I do while we watch Trisha. Because we love her and we don't miss a Trisha. But Trisha always says, Well, hello, Judy Scallet. Well, hello, Barbie. Her hello is the freaking most wonderful hello. Hello, Thomas. <laughs> I, so I mean, I right? It's the cutest, longest hello in the world. Hello, Gabrielle Lich. Thank you for coming. Hello. You still love me, Trisha? I love you. I love you. I, I get excited. But every time you say hello, Tom and I pee a little. And not lying. We love it. We live for it. Hello. Belinda Carroll. <laughs> it's, the best, it's the best hello on the internet. <laughs> Not you two. I'm mean, sorry. I'm two. Thank you in prime time. <laughs> I swear, we need to have a Eight. whole show that's just us mimicking everybody else and each other. <laughs> I know. I, well, I, got, I, I have a few. A few. I mean, I wouldn't call them impersonations because I don't have it nailed, and they're not long skits. But I got little bits of everybody. Like, I love to do Angela Marksberry, but she's not here. Oh, she was a minute ago, but I think she's working. So I, I, I have anyway. a little. <laughs> do it anyway. All right. So. Do it anyway. All right. So let me try. Okay. Hi. I just got home. <laughs> you, have no idea. you have no idea how many of these people came to get their vaccine. They were all in line. I don't think some of them took a shower since last month. They think I got to be on my feet. And I'm telling you, I can't. You know, I have to do it. It's my job. It's my paycheck. But, and then they want to refill it before it's due. The refill's not due, sir. It's not due. <laughs> You know, I got to get home because I have I have selling to do. I'm now I'm now I now sell. I don't just buy. I sell, and I have friends. I have real friends on the internet <laughs> here in this damn pharmacy talking about <laughs> your probiotic selection. Okay, it's enough. It's enough. I I work hard, but when I when I can clock out, I'm gonna clock out, and I'm gonna race home, and I'm gonna forget all about. Life in this damn pharmacy. <laughs> that's my Angela Marksbury. <laughs> I can't wait for Angela to see this. <laughs> she's so damn sweet. But she's so sweet. <laughs> So good. Hello, Angela Marksberry. Hi, <laughs> Jose and Kathy and Ava. Oh, my God, do another. All right. Well, I'll say one word and you tell me who this is. You ready, guys? Actually, Tom could do it too. Tom will do it. Tom, you know the one word that we say? You know what I'm talking about? Sold! Sold! <laughs> who says, who says, sold? <laughs> Come on, who says it? Let's see. Tommy, do it too. Yeah, Tommy, do it. Sold! Go ahead, Tommy. Tommy says he's yelling at me. <laughs> Is it Jeffrey? No, it's not Jeffrey. It's a woman. Oh. <laughs> we don't even know. I'm going to have to do more of her, and then I'm going to get banned from the internet. All right, let me try and do a little more. <laughs> He's saying, I can get $100 for this. Okay, so this, this is the, this let's see. Let's see, what can I use as a prop? We'll start this out at 
offer up hundred dollars. This starts at one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, two two cups, one one money. Two cups, one money. Two cups, one money. Oh, two cups, one, money. <laughs> one cup, one money. Two cups, one money. Two cups, one money. Two money. I'll give you all a chance to go look on eBay to see how much <laughs> this cup is. The last time I sold this cup, I got four thousand dollars. Not gonna take less. Not gonna take less. I don't have to. I don't have to. I see. I see. Someone has one dollar. Okay, starting with one dollar. One dollar going once. Five dollars. Okay, five going once. But it's sold. <laughs> I think they're right in the chat. <laughs> Do you have any idea how? Oh my God. <laughs> Debbie was paying dollars for You're not on it again. We keep losing Tommy. <laughs> Tommy's doing Tommy's doing his own impersonations over there, but if we keep losing this gonna I know oh it's killing me. You have to freaking laugh. I mean I love I I I love you all. I got a sick mind. I was always the kid sent to the principal's office for being the class <laughs> cut up. <laughs> One time I thought it would be funny in seventh grade. I unzipped my teacher's dress in the back to her bra. I thought that would give the kids a big laugh. Yeah. They called my family in. My mother. Am I out again? Yes, you're not in. My mother, who barely spoke English. My father, who was a, a working man that had to take off from work. And they said to me, What the hell? In, in a thick Italian accent, what the hell were you thinking? to pull down this woman's zipper. I said, I thought it would be funny. <laughs> I said, the kids loved it, it was funny. <laughs> I was in so much trouble. <laughs> right? So busted, yeah, I always, always, always did for the laugh. Mm -hmm. There's a gone, my other jersey half. I might give Sue a list of people to impersonate next time she comes. Yes. <laughs> We'll send you dolls for impersonations. <laughs> That's right. I will work for friend mail. Uh, ugly dogs. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> I just feel bad that my husband hasn't been able to really, really get in. So we're going to have to work on that problem for him for the next time. <laughs> Got to figure out why. It's okay. But we miss but, him. Oh, my God. I mean, uh, you know. I watched Gab uh, Gabby's here, so I'm gonna. I, I gotta talk to Gabby. So Gabby went to uh, an estate sale with um, two two YouTubers. I can't think of their names because I'm just like on the spot. But everything Gabby bought, she's keeping for herself. Everything, <laughs> not selling one damn thing. So it's like. I got this and you didn't. I got this and you didn't. And the other girls were like, I'm going to keep one and I'm going to sell one. I'm going to keep one. I'm going to sell one. And then we get together and be like, no one's getting any of my stuff. It's all <laughs> Look at what I scored. <sighs> How mean. How rude. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. <laughs> Can't wait. This is Royal Hager. <laughs> I got up at four o'clock in the morning. I put on a Depends to drive nine hours. I got there on I was there before the sale, but I wasn't first. <sighs> there it is. There's my husband. <laughs> yeah, they are. It was it was Jamie. That's right. It was Jamie. And was it you, Lilac? Was you the other the person, the other the other seller? Oh my God, she was she was so Gabby was so selfish. Like how do you do that? How do you do that? Like oh, get this going. Oh, Thomas has got his show and tell again. <laughs> Well, Lilac, I'm proud of you that you're sharing. 
that other woman with the blonde hair that's gorgeous that I'm falling in love with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, can't believe, I can't believe Gabby has relatives in New Jersey. You, well, I'm de and we're definitely going to meet. Definitely. Hey, Gene, I can't wait for you to come over for a cup of coffee one day. I got a special coffee cup for you. Oh, let me see. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice. What is that? What is, what is that? that? What is that poop? What's wrong with you? What is that? <laughs> Tom, that looks like poop. What the heck was it? Tom, it looks like poop. You better explain quick, because otherwise you're telling the girl you wanted to drink it. Oh, oh, it's like a frog. All right, let's let's try and get it in focus. Show her the outside of the cup. It's, it's, it's lagging way behind it. Lagging. There's no frogs on the outside. You don't see anything on the outside. Oh, so it's a mystery cup that you don't know it has a frog. Oh, there's the frog. Oh, yeah. We know that Gina needs her caffeine or she gets cuckoo. It's so true. <laughs> Honey, I've been so, promising them a bowl of macaroni. You're not going to get away with coffee. <laughs> coffee. Let me come from Florida for, to your house for a cup of coffee. You're going to have to feed them. <laughs> she Don't, give that that Don't give me that look. Don't give me that look. You got another one you want to show, baby? It's lagging too far behind. We're fine. So I buy dolls with or without their heads. So, oh, wow. Tom, so th this is a special one just for Gina as soon as it comes to the focus. I like that. I kind of right? like it. Yeah, you're going to use it in Halloween, put a, a, a cauldron full of heads. <laughs> you could. Where did you get that, Sue? I got it at a flea market for a dollar. Wow, that's cool. Halloween, I would have it out all year long. <laughs> well, you know I need to mix it up. He might go on 4th of July because he is dressed very military style. So you're right. I could do it. If I'm doing for 4th of July, though, I'll put his I'll put his head back. If I figure out how to do how to put a head back. What do you got, Tommy? One more? Yeah, I don't Oh, this is a very special one for Gina. See, I think he has a favorite sister wife. Are you getting to see a trend, Kat? Yeah. Gina, Gina, Gina. Gina. We got, we got Gina. Oh, look at that. The worms crawl in, the worms crawl out. I love it. Right? Dollar, dollar, dollar. Yvonne, I got them at the Columbus Flea Market uh, two weekends ago. <laughs> oh, Christina, don't say that. <laughs> oh, we would never hurt anybody. <laughs> Isn't he cute, Yvonne? <laughs> It's not going to be like the Hotel California over there. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, now we're not inviting anybody for any freaking sleepovers. Get yourself a damn hotel room. <laughs> Hi, Chris. I saw, I, saw, I think, um, what the heck's her name is by Misty. She moved in for like a week. Who's the oh, girl? Michelle. Michelle. Michelle, I think she's living there for like a week. Don't be coming to my house for a week. Italians don't want you here overnight. That's what we do with dirty work. I wish I had another day. Well, if I kind of did, I'm staying. So. Me too. I'll sleep on the floor if I have to. Me and yeah, Kat will sleep said, on the couch. We're fine. If you say shut up, Thomas, on the hour. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it's wow. like an alarm clock. <laughs> shut up, Thomas. 
<laughs> we will bring her out for you because she's cute. She's a sleepy eye what does Abby say to me? What's your mind for me? Mind, what does that mean? What's my mind for a name? Gabby, know. speak English, English, not broken English. All right, this doll's a little too pretty for me. Crack her face and I'm over. <laughs> Step on her and she's gorgeous. <laughs> now, I don't know if she had feet. I mean, had shoes originally. But she's pretty <laughs> bullets in here. Uh oh. Something right. Um, she's marked. She's from 1980. Uh -huh. She's called an Andy. I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but it is marked. I'm not a doll person. I don't know a lot about her. I just thought she was cute. Yeah, she's very cute. She's really cute. Um, she has everything that she If you like pretty things, I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For those of you that like pretty things. For me and Gina that are distorted and like nailed <laughs> dolls and polio-legged dolls. It's not quite our thing. So the worm one, did you get that at a flea market too, Sue? Yes, at a flea. So, so you know, I my handicap is that I, I can't, I can't really walk. So when, during COVID, I really never left the house except for doctor's appointments. And even those were mostly through telehealth. But once the lifting came, so when we go bye-bye, Tom's like, it's like when you take the dog to the bank for like a, a, a pup cup, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So you know, it's to do to get me out of the house. So the, the, the world opened up and two or three weeks ago, I went out for the first time in like over a year and I have a motorized scooter that Tom doesn't like to be near me because I've run over him a few times. It wasn't on purpose. <laughs> never, never on purpose. But he doesn't like to be in front of me because I, I can't stop on the dime. So yeah, there's this huge flea market in New Jersey, not far from where Yvonne lives, I don't think. Um, and it's called the Columbus Flea Market. It's football fields in size. But it starts at like 6, 7 a.m. By 1 o'clock, they're done. So you got to go and hunt. But like, I like all the weird stuff. So nobody touches it, you know, like, so, you know, and then if you, you bundle up and then, and then here's the thing, you're in a wheelchair or in a, a motorized scooter, people feel bad for you. So they give me things. They're like, here, you poor bastard. Here's a free Ringling Brothers <laughs> So I play it up like, oh my God, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Oh, bless your heart. Thank you. Anything else free on your table? And then at the end of the day, at one o'clock, Tom puts all the crap that I've gotten into the car and I take an empty bag and I do a last run because a lot of people leave things behind. And I came back last week. I scored a Casa uh, brand new stock in box pumpkin terrine with the lid and the label label in the box on eBay for seventy five dollars. I got it for free. Wow, Sue! That's what I'm talking about. That's how I shop. I need wow. to Tom will never let me tell anything. So I, I have no future life. I, I joined this to, I hope to one day be a seller like you guys when I retire. But Tom, Tom will never let us pass anything. Like he won't let us, he loves things more than I do. Like, so he loves holding, he, Tom is Gabriella Lish. <laughs> Tom and Gabriella Lish together would be a hoarder house because Tom will not pass up a damn thing. I would sell you my dirty underwear. If you <laughs> and I understand there's a market for it, but I, I'm not I'm not gonna go there because I'm classy.
Yeah. Did it? So I think it might possibly be the weather too. Yeah. It's, yeah. Is he gone again? Yeah. He he bailed on us again. He keeps yeah. losing the connection. We have we are really also having bad storms here. Is it from the hurricane, Sue, or is it just? No, I don't know because I, I I haven't watched the news since since Trump went into office. I haven't seen a newscast. Yes, yeah, same here. I heard he's out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so oh, now, no, God, I, this, I this is like one. partly gold, yes. partly enameled, it's partly enameled. gold. Day, it's very right? 80s. Yeah. It's a large bowl. And it is twelve dollars number sixty nine. It's unmarked. <laughs> you know it, Delbert. Sign up. What did he say? He said Sue wants to sell prison panties. I told him somebody did, somebody did tell me that that's a thing that it they is pay for. <laughs> So wrong. Mine will come. Mine are the size of, of like curtains for a small window. I can I can make any person is happy. I can do cell block A. <laughs> what does it keep happening when I'm trying to show something? All right, I'll, I'll, go I'll go for you. Just hold it. Okay. No, so I, no. Lovely Don't. pin. Yeah, it's about really about cool. this big, two inches tall. It's a lovely swirl. It's a, it's a geometric design. It's partially gold, and it gives like a purple or blue hue, depending on the lighting. It could be used on a scarf or on a blouse. Um, I don't know the age of it. I can tell you that the clasp is a C-clasp, and that it is not signed by the maker but i think that you would enjoy this it does look to have some age to it you want this you want this you want this it's number 69 i'm not making up that she did freaking number 69 on my turn okay you cannot make that up how, how the heck was it 69 <laughs> and it's twelve dollars. Add it to your collection, Belinda. Belinda Carroll loves a good brooch. <laughs> I think we scared Belinda out with the with the with the, with the clowns. She went flying. Grit my stomach. But Bambi, yes, prison panties are a thing. Delbert, I'm sure would love to tell you all about it. He is lucky, and he's smiling the whole time when Sue's talking. I don't want to know anything about it. <laughs> That's because you don't wear panties. <laughs> Not even going to call me. <laughs> Tommy, you're so damn cute. I'm falling more in love with you. Look at you. I had to leave. I couldn't stay. Damn, it's bad. <laughs> Make some eye contact with me. Show me you love me with your eyes. My cam is bad, but you can't do that. All right, fake it. Pretend you love me with your eyes. Show me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at all. Oh, look at me. Oh. Uh -huh. Do you know I married him twice? I remarried him at 20 years. Cried like a baby. Do you know I married him? Does everyone know how they met? I think a lot of you probably were at Tammy's, but it is a sweet story. Oh, uh, the girls are saying you need to wipe your lens off. Not uh, your your screen. It's so damn cute. I can't stand it. Mm -hmm. Here's Belinda. Belinda, did you see the last brooch that nobody bought? <laughs> if, let me tell you, if Belinda doesn't buy the brooch, it's not sellable. No, okay? It's not. All right? It's just not sellable. <laughs> Belinda... <laughs> Buys every damn brooch she can get a hand on. I'm sure she's sitting in a room. Did you see antiques from Karen with Janet that they found 800 pounds of jewelry in the house? I think I heard something. Wow. That, two of me. Two of me in the house of jewelry. That's crazy. Belinda's <laughs> jewelry in that in that hoarder house. Oh, she has it already. 
Thank you, Belinda. I know we love Miss Belinda. So that pin is endorsed by Belinda Carroll. That's true. It is endorsed. <laughs> Jerry <laughs> has it, so it must be a good one. 69. <laughs> oh, I'm, am I even showing it yet? <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> okay. Who we want to talk. No. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? What's going on? What do you got? You got more stuff to sell? I do. This has got sticker residue. I'm going to have to wash it off. But anyway, I have this cute little glass owl vase. He's got a pointy nose. It's like applied glass. And it's not like solid yellow. It's like a speckled yellow. It's like the... Of course, you're not going to be able to see it. But... And his little eyes have been applied. But he is a clear glass vase. About this big. It's like my twin. Oh, she has to add me to this or I can't speak in here. Every time you go out and in, she has to re-add you. Yep. Here, I'll add you now. Hold on. There we go. Perfect, Jan. So, he oh, is going Jan. to be $8, number 22. That's a beautiful thing. See how the glass comes up on the side to make like his little ears. No chips or cracks. No chips or cracks. He's in good condition. No damage anywhere. And then I have this cute. I, when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's so cute. You know, like the. Um, I've got one in my kitchen, the plate stands where you have one plate on the bottom, one plate on the top, like a tiered kind of thing. Well, this is like a miniature one. And it's got the two little fruit plates, a smaller one and a larger one in like a fruit design. And they do come out if you want to take them out. It reminds me a lot of my teacup and saucer I had earlier because it's got the brushed gold around the outside and everything. Both the plates are marked Japan. Um... Uh, there used to be a sticker there, but it's gone now. But there's a Japan sticker still on both of the plates. Hey, Dina, can I interrupt you for one second? Hey, Gabby's saying there's uh, earthquakes going off in California right now. They're happening. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. A lot of feedback. Oh, okay, Gabby. I thought you said you had to go because there were earthquakes. I gotta leave here. Okay. I think I'm lagging. I'm not seeing. So then, just talk in the room with typing. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I lost sound, so I didn't hear what you were saying. Um, there were uh, earthquakes happening in California, and I thought Gabby said it was happening where she. Oh was. no. Yeah, but she's okay. I'm sorry, false alarm. Oh, no, that's okay. I need to know about these things. So this is like a kind of a goldish colored metal. And it's got like the little wire at the top. But I just thought that was really cute. Nice little miniature you could put on your kitchen counter or in your dining room or whatever. And like I said, the plates, you can take them out. And, you know, if it sells and I ship it, I probably will take it apart to ship it just so it'll be safer than shipping it like that. Fire. And it's about this big. You shouldn't do that. And it's going to be $10 number 19. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> I have to go back and watch that. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Pop, I get sued. I didn't name any names. You didn't. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't have to. That's nope. true. I have a couple of people that I want to have you do. So. 
<laughs> we will bribe you with crazy dolls. Oh yeah, I'll be finding all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. It's better. Hi, Angela. It's Angela is here. Angela, you have to go back. I'm sorry, I love you. <laughs> Text me later on Instagram and tell me to follow me. <laughs> Text me later so I still know if you're talking to me. <laughs> hey, Dexter. Hi, Tom. <laughs> Dexter. Hello, Jose. Oh, Jose. Or is it Jose? Is it Jose? You a good boy, Dexter? He's a good Do you hear that? Oh, they're talking to you. <laughs> You're a very good boy, Dexter. Aww, did you hear that? He's so sweet. He's such a brat. Yeah, I want to see your Dexter again. So, guys, we all... Come on up, Dexter. They named their cat after Dexter the serial killer, just like I did. Which is so cool. I mean, it's so, it's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby, you pot stir. Yeah, so I got my desk. I don't know if it's when Tom is on. Oh, there, it stopped. No, no, Angela, it's not about the prison panties. <laughs> I got the two Dexters. Yep. So you should do it again. If you, if you do it again. Oh, it's never funny it's the never second time. You never <laughs> ask. Do it twice. Oh, they're asking. Oh, I know they're asking for it. <laughs> <laughs> they're asking for Gina. Say, shut up, Thomas. Shut up, Thomas. <laughs> Angela, make a shirt for that, please. Shut up, Tom. I swear, 24 years, I've never yeah, said it. And you, and you've been saying it like every day. <laughs> and, so now, you got to say it. You got to say it with the right voice, too. Well, after we kiss goodnight, I now say to him, shut up, Tom. Let me laugh. <laughs> So your still sounds way too sweet. You can't say it like that. You do it. You Shut do up, it. Thomas. <laughs> All right, Kat, I'm gonna make you sell something so she's not gonna do the okay. The Angela yeah, I, thing. I, I, I don't think it'll be funny the second time. You gotta do it like Angela, that just one go night. back and Shut watch up, it. Thomas. You have, Angela, you have to watch it. It's I mean the prison panties is just funny, but this is Really funny. Okay. Do we have any turtle people here? Any what? Oh, turtle people. <laughs> so we own a red slider. We have a real turtle. We have a real turtle. Do you really? I, I, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I want a turtle too. What is your turtle's name? What is your turtle? The turtle's name the turtle's is. Name is Lexi, because it was bought on Lexington Avenue in Manhattan. Oh, that's cool. I miss Manhattan. That's Dexter's friend. I hear Thomas. Oh, echoing. Anyway, this is a teeny tiny. Let me see if that's better. He is. He is number six. Number six. Number six. Number six. Number six. Which if nobody gets it, I'm gonna have to send it to you. I think you had a turtle. It's gotta be my thing doing this. I think it might be. But that's okay. Okay. I also have this crazy. 
crazy as Gina's monkey dogs, but it's pretty, pretty goofy. I think he's a dachshund because he's got that long body. <laughs> His face cracks me up. It's just so wonky. I get out because I'm causing a huge echo. And he is made in Occupy Japan. This one piece of garbage. It's on his foot here. Too and outdated. then it's dated. Yeah. I think this is when somebody gave someone this dog. It says 88. I gotta try like, obviously it over here because of that. And he is. Where is he? I don't know why I can't find that freaking email. <laughs> I just love the crazy Japanese big ones. Like Venus shaker. Okay. Wow, you had two people who wanted that. Look at that. Sold to oh. Gabby. Well, thank you, Gabby. He's real cute. But thank you for the offer of Barbara and Mundo. 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 Ricardo Montabon drinks the coffee out of Barbara and Mundo's cups. Um, Tammy, I did not. Is it really? I guess it is. It's a basset. So Tammy and Mundo <laughs> the cutest basset hound. Her name is Lily May. Oh, no. Another earthquake. Lake Tahoe, wow. <coughs> oh, oh, Gina, that was too, yeah. All right. I'm going to do another offer. See how this one goes over. It's not a weird looking dog, so maybe y'all like it better. <laughs> this is actually a Joseph original lipstick holder. One of the little girls with their little pink dress. All redheads are gorgeous. Got the little pink flower. Still got the sticker here and the sticker there. And then it's got the inscription of Joseph Originals right there. She looks to be in really good condition from what I can see. I don't see any chips or cracks or anything on her. And I'm going to start her at, I'm going to have to start her at 18. One eight eighteen. She's beautiful. She's, She's got all beautiful. of her little fingers. He's about this big. Hey, Annette. I feel sorry for poor Tony. I'm going to bring him back in just a sec. I think he popped back up again. Um, and then let's set her over here. Oh, I got Jeannie is interested at 18. V Bales is interested. Oh, cool. Nice. Oh, I got Jeannie. You've got four slots for the lipsticks to sit down in. Nice piece. It is. Stop looking at my ass. <laughs> Jeannie's kind of a girly girl. She likes those. A She's lot. adorable. Mm -hmm. She's got gold around her dress there and around. She's got like a little gold where they Good. painted on. They look like a little bow. And around the collar. All right. I'm about to sell it to Jeannie. If anybody else is interested, you better speak now forever. Hold your peace. It could be a good shelf piece. All right. I'm about to sell it to Jeannie. If anybody else is interested, you better speak now forever. Hold your peace. Yeah, uh, cat. What do you call these? That's it, you know. 
Did you put on a shelf? What do you call them? Shelf sitter. There you go. <laughs> I one up next, actually. <laughs> I just had to get that one in there. I will never live that down. All <laughs> right, counting down. Five, four, three, two, and one. This is coming your way, Jeannie. Thank you. Let me set her over here to the side. And then for all you Italians out there, you probably don't know this because you probably you probably don't need this because you already know how to cook Italian. But for those of us that are not good at it, here is the Talisman Italian Cookbook. <laughs> this is supposed to be a good cookbook. I don't know. What do you think, Sue? Uh, you know, if you're Have selling you it, it's gotta be good. Gotta be good if you're selling it. Um, what from is what I understand, it's supposed to be all right. It is Ada Boni. I'm probably saying that completely wrong, but you know. So let's see what is in here that we might want to eat tonight. This is from 1970, so this is older than I am. So let's pick Barely, out a recipe. It is. See if there's a okay. recipe for Sunday sauce. From I'm, so, I'm sorry, could you say that again? See if there's a recipe for Sunday sauce. Sunday sauce. Okay, it may let's not be see. Called, it, just might, it might be called sauce. Okay. Well, there's sauce. <laughs> Lots of them. <laughs> All right, let's see what sauces they have. You're not they have... Sauce. Aromatic no. with anchovy paste. Definitely not. Bagna not cotta. Caper for fish. Crab meat, cream, gourmet, green, hot, piquant, piquant. Meat, pizzaiole. Pizzaiole. Right, I don't even know how to say let's it. Go, let's go with meat, meat pizzaiola. So meat pizzaiola is a way to make a inexpensive cut of meat, which we're all watching pennies, be absolutely delicious. So what are the ingredients for meat pizzaiola? Okay, let's see here. You got olive oil, garlic, one medium can of tomatoes, salt, pepper, oregano, chopped parsley. That's for the pizzaiola sauce. And then they've got a separate, oh, they got regular tomato sauce too. Huh. The meat sauce is salt, pork, onion, carrot, celery, butter, lean beef, salt, pepper, cloves, water, and bouillon cubes. Okay, that must be a northern Italian cookbook then. So that's okay. that's not the way that we make it from Rome down. But oh, it sounds okay. Good. But that's that's well, more Venetian, that's more Venetian style Italian cooking. Yes. Hey, do you make gnocchi? Like homemade? I don't make homemade? No, we don't make them homemade. We have a lot of, um, because we're in New Jersey, there's a lot of homemade pasta that you can just go buy at homemade. So yeah. we don't take trouble to make the pasta, but we make all the sauces. I love them. Well, there you go. Yeah, I love gnocchi. I make gnocchi too. Well, Tom makes them now, but I make gnocchis two ways. Well, one is a uh, southern style, which is like with just the, the, the tomato sauce, but we also make it a Venetian style, which is from the north, which is chopped meat, right? You do chopped meat in the pan, and you, you keep the oil. You don't drain off the oil. You boil mm -hmm. your gnocchi separately, and then you put them together with a stick of butter, and you sprinkle mm. salt, pepper, and believe it or not, cinnamon. And hmm. it's delicious. I'm getting hungry now, too. Yeah, now I'm like in the dessert section, which is not good. <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh. This all sounds good. Okay, I got to quit looking at this. Anyway, it is the Talisman Italian Cookbook, and it is going to be $10, number 12. It's got the, uh, the, 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 the right colors of our flag. 
Well, this is like the Ronzoni Macaroni Company, I guess, put this out. Okay, so Ronzoni is my favorite brand of box pasta. I don't care. That's my, I don't, I'm not, not a Bertelli or whatever. I love a Ronzoni Rigatoni. Oh. That's my favorite. See here, this is me right here. Eggplant, Parmesan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We I make all that. I love me some eggplant. Tommy makes all that. I taught Tommy everything. So when we come up to stay with you and sleep on your couch, you can make that. <laughs> you do what I got to do and he'll do what you got to do. That'll be the deal. <laughs> okay. Here, let's see if we can get him back now. There he is. Call back. Okay. Here, let's see if we can get him back. No. <laughs> Gary is this hotel. That's my man. Hey, did I have a recipe in there for tuna casserole? Don't even say it. You know, you know the rules. There's no tuna allowed in this house. No. No, but the Jello book had a recipe for tuna in it. <laughs> I bet the Jello book has one. No. Yeah. Tom knows. I, I find that whole idea of tuna so disgusting. I don't even want to know that he ever has eaten it. He never told me. He has to come up. Oh, my God. Is that you, Tom? Oh, my God. It's got to be you. My volume's off. Oh, there we go. Okay, whatever you just did, work. um, I I I sheave it to the Italian word for. Uh, oh, now it's on me. Yep. Turn your volume down. It's too loud. Is it like? Is it disconnected? That did it. Whatever it was. I had to shut my my thing off because yeah, I think that I think maybe because we're in the same room, yeah. we can't both have volume at the same time. So Tom, You're when you want feedback, I'll, I'll mute myself. Okay. I may never mute myself, yeah, but yeah, so I, the spirit I, I, I to the doll. I should give you the whole idea of tuna. So he's not allowed to have it in the house at all, and he's not allowed to tell me that he had it for lunch because then I won't kiss him. Like I, I'm so like repulsed by it. Really, I like tuna. I don't like yeah, no, tuna. no, 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 no. Cat, you don't like anything that involves like animal protein, so don't even start. <laughs> I'm probably the only. Yeah, I, 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 yeah it, it's amazing that I'm this fat with how much of a finicky eater I am. I do not have a wide palate. I like the same like dozen things over and over and over again. <laughs> And I get stuck on. I the like food, pretty so. much all of it. Yeah, no, I I don't eat any anything from the sea except for lobster tail, and um, shrimp, but not shrimp parmesan. That to me is like a crazy person will put shrimp in sauce. Like no. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. I did steamed oysters the other night. They were so good. No, I would never. I would never. I could never do it. I could never watch him do it. Mm -hmm. oh, I love I like everything that comes out of the water I will eat any of that no problem at all I love it but I don't want to eat it I love all the sea creatures where is yeah. the infamous Rick Fontaine I know I told him he needed to come in here I said Sue has to see you so hopefully he's listening and he could come in here, Rick. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay, Angela, I think you're getting close to it. You're getting close. It was close. <laughs> when you see my head down on the desk, you know. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much. <laughs> when you see me covering my face, yeah. The <laughs> Look at my little kitty. All right, get to work, Kat. I will. So this Odagiri spoon rest, and it has this cute Persian kitty on it. Yeah, 
Excellent shape. No damage. It's got the little hook here. If you want to hang it up in your kitchen, it's decor. It's about this yeah, big. This hook is no, no good for doing this. No, I think you need to have a computer. It's hard to do it on a phone. I couldn't do it on my phone either the last time. First thing. It overheats the phone. That's yeah, but plus you don't want to hold it for two hours. Yeah, but it overheats the phone and it doesn't work. If the phone gets too hot and it's it's you know. Five is my favorite number. Is it really? Two five. five. Yep. That's my lucky number five. I have a song about it. You do? What? Yeah. It's uh five, five, five. Let's sing the song of five. How many is five? One, two, three. Four, five, 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 five. Let's sing this song. If I had to do it all, you know, over and over and over again. <laughs> I think it's probably. probably from, oh, Tommy's trying to sneak back. <laughs> probably days of watching uh, Sesame Street. Oh yeah. Tommy, you want control? I'll I'll mute myself. <laughs> Gabby says, "Oh my God." Yes, cat on a hot tin roof or spoon. Okay, so Angela, you might like these. I'm not sure. Angela and I like the same crazy boho stuff. So I picked up these two mushroom towels. Uh, they both have crochet here. Look at these. These are so 70s. You know, it's hard to find vintage mushroom <laughs> linens or towels. Now, this one, I, have, I haven't tried to clean it yet, but I will. There's like a, a spot right here. I had to get them anyway because I mean, look at this. This is everything. This was kind of fun tonight, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you have Despite issues in between? Mm -hmm. Are you having fun, Tom? Do this. You hear him? He's saying, "I'm having fun." <laughs> Good. I was worried he wasn't because he was having so much we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna have to address his whole computer computer issue because he he, he hardly uses email, so they just like so much like vendor nonsense sponsored yeah, stuff yeah. junk yeah. and he, it's saying that he can't get any more email, so he's gotta yeah. he's gotta clean it. Well, next time. Okay. Did I do two? I did two, Gina. Nobody wants to right. Did you say how what number and how much they were? I don't think you did that. I did. They're, okay. they're five dollars. That's basically two fifty each. You can't take a loss for two fifty. Like there she goes. Angela Marksberry. Well, That's right. Angela, I'll try to get this out for you, honey. You have to hit the comments button on the top right. No, it's not allowed. All right, just so you guys know, because I forgot to say it when we started. <laughs> I forget everything, sorry. But I am going to be sending out um, in your next round of packages that come out. And here from here forward, anybody that doesn't get it until everybody, one of you know our regular buyers, get one. I'm going to be sending out these uh, little raffle tickets to you. Mm. So I'll be sending you one half and I'll keep the other half with the matching number. So make sure you hold on to the ticket because I can't replace it because I won't have the match for it. But make sure you keep your ticket when you get in the mail. Look in your box and make sure you don't throw it away. And... Every so often, I'm going to do a giveaway. And when I do a giveaway, it's going to be by your little raffle tickets. So make sure you does, hold on to them when you get them, okay? Does the winner need to be present to claim the prize? Yes, they do, ma'am. That's right. Because if right. you're not present, I'm going to pass you right on and go to the next person. There okay? you go. That's right. So <clears throat> you'll need to make sure you're here. But I'll be sending out the raffle tickets in your next set of boxes that yeah, come do you out. Get one raffle you, ticket, do you get one raffle ticket for item purchased or one raffle ticket for mailing? For mailing. 
per mail. I've only got okay. one roll of it. <laughs> I would go through <laughs> one roll in like three weeks. <laughs> But just keep up with it. And then we're going to reuse that ticket over and over and over again. Like if you win with this ticket, it goes back into my pile again and you can win again. Okay. So this is essentially just your buyer number is whatever the, is on the ticket. It's kind of going to be the way I did. Like I'm going to write your name on the back of the one I keep. And then that way, when I pull no the number, I can actually There's, tell you. Because I was like, planning I on trying to yeah, so if, if say, like, Yvonne wasn't here and you called Yvonne's number, I can't say, that's me. Right. Um, Not that I think any of you would do that, but. I would do it. Of course, of course, Sue thought of it, but. Yeah. <laughs> but oh. I'm going to keep up with it. See, I used to teach school. I know how these, you know, I know how people think. They think they can cheat the system. No, nah, that's, I'm not so quick. But well, I'm going to keep up. something funny. Too is that I used to teach school. So what subject did you teach? Science. Science. What specifically? I taught biology, high school. I taught, in high school, I taught biology, microbiology, botany, uh, physical science, and then I did some algebra as well. Can, Can you believe we never uncovered this about each other that we were both high school biology science teachers? I, I only did it for a year. Now. Did it for a year, and I was like, "This is not for me. I hate these bastards." Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I know. It's, Why it's, do you think I'm not teaching anymore? It's like the last year I taught, we had three uh, problems at the school where they had to lock us down because there was a threat of a bomb, a threat of a gun, and I forgot what all else. I was just like, okay, I'm done. You know, you don't pay me enough for this. So my kids would steal the dead animals from the dissection room and they would wind up yep. in all the wrong places all over the school. Yep. And then I would get okay. called down to the people's office, you know, why are yep. there dead cats, fish, whatever we were dissecting? Hello, Tammy. Yeah, and then see, that's the thing. It's like they got to the point where they didn't want you to use animals for dissection anymore, even though they were already dead and all that. They wanted you to do the computer program for dissection. I was like, no, you need to get your hands in there and get it, you know, get dirty and do it. But they didn't want to do that anymore. So I was just like, you know what? Yeah, I don't think I need to do this anymore. We are sister wives. You really? <laughs> see, this is the thing. Everybody's like, oh, that's gross, blah, blah. But I bet almost every one of you, when you were in high school, you had to dissect at least a frog. And you may have been like, eh, this is gross and all that, but I bet you learned something. So, yeah. Well, when we went to college, you had to see the stuff they made us dissect. It was awful. Oh, no. Yeah. Let's see, I taught, I actually taught freshman uh, biology in college, too. Um, so, I did that a little bit longer because they didn't get on my nerves quite so bad. But they got to the point where they were no better all, no better than like the high school students. They all drove me crazy. So I was like, yeah, I got to get out of this teaching thing. I can't do it anymore. So, yeah, I loved school and I was like, I thought that would be a great career for me. Um, but what I didn't realize was I loved school because I was a kid too. And once I was an adult, I was like, I can't stand these teenagers. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, I'm the same exact way. So I got out of the field. I couldn't do it any longer. I was like, you know what? Not for me. I got, I'm taking a chance of a, with my life every day. I go in here with these crazy people, you know, so you can't pay me that little bit of money to do that. That's okay. Yeah, it's like I have a master's degree in biology. I'll find something else. Thanks. <laughs> but, you know, I did that when my kids were in school because we had the same schedule. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, that's we have the same schedule. Mm -mm, not anymore. I don't have the patience for it. I would be on the news the first day, probably. I was a substitute elementary school teacher. For that's of course you were. <laughs> Listen to that voice. Okay, children. I could, they would, yeah. it was ridiculous. Get out it's your so book. We're going to read together now. Fourth grade. <laughs> I, couldn't do it. I, 
I can do elementary school. Be like, you stupid little jerk. Go sit down in that seat. Let me cry. <laughs> There's a viral video out there that is a little boy yelling at his preschool teacher. And the, the, her name, I think, is Linda. Like, if you search for, like, little boy yelling at Linda. And she's trying to put him in a timeout. And he's not having it. And he <laughs> argues with her. And he's like, Linda, Linda, listen. Linda, listen. <laughs> I cried. When I saw that video, I sent it to everybody I know. It was the funniest thing I ever saw. I've got to find that. Yeah, that's probably why we like the weird stuff. Because, we like, yes, we're morbid. That's mm -hmm. it. That's it. We're yeah, I, I've never denied that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 stuff. What is that? Oh, is that the frog? Mm -hmm. That's the frog, right? Sue, is it? Okay. It oh, does look. It looks That's like why I showed it. you this before. My yeah, old yeah. autopsy photo that I love so yeah. much. Love it. Like, you're how can you not love that? That's amazing. Tom, do you have a tattoo? You gotta send me a copy of that uh, that photo. Okay, okay, yeah, I'll scan it and send it to you. You gotta send me a copy of that photo, Gina. I will. Do you have a tattoo, Tom? Dude, does he have a tattoo? Or is he a tattoo? Oh, I muted that too. It's hard to see it because of the. You got to turn your volume off. You stopped talking. I threw it up. It's hard to see it because of the. You got to turn your volume off. You stopped talking. I threw it up. <laughs> oh, God. oh, he's playing with uh, that. Is hey, my volume is on. Well, what is this, then what is going on with this thing tonight? It's like it's recording it. Yes, I get along with this thing. Did you see? Did she go too far? She might have gone too far. She's just not cooperating. You're you're muted. Now I am. Okay, I'm coming back. Okay. This thing is something screwed up in here. Somewhere. I can still hear Thomas through your microphone. No. He's talking loud enough. Gabby doesn't. <laughs> so, so what, 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 what is wrong? That is a that is clown is. just for you. <laughs> you mute, honey. But she could hear you through me. I, I think. can hear. Harry Clowns, just for Gina. That's a Ringling Brothers, too. <laughs> I was wondering if that was Ringling Brothers. Yeah. Is it another flea market find? Yeah. No. Oh, Tom said no. It wasn't. Let's stand corrected. Where was it? Where did we get it from, Tommy? This actually came from somebody who threw it away in the garbage. Oh, that was a garbage pick. Wow. Wow. We're not, really? we're not scared of this garbage. Uh uh. We ain't scared. We'll go. Yeah. Also, the Craig. If you guys don't do the Craigslist free site every day, it's amazing what people give away for free. Tom, I'll smack your ass with that. Stop threatening me with that damn it all. It's just showing off now. Angela's asking what she's supposed to look for. Is it the story where Tom crapped his pants in the ocean? He did not crap his pants. He almost crapped his pants. Let's not start a bad rumor. Find the distinction oh. there. <laughs> This is one of my favorites. I love that one. I think that's cute. It's for you, pants. Gina. Huh? It even has pins. Your mm -hmm. I know. I love it. it. He's weird. I'll keep him. <laughs> you should keep him. 
the funny thing is, you know, things unfolded over the, the nature of our relationship. So we did not do the flea market collecting thing pretty much till after I got disabled because we were looking for what can I do in a, in a mobile scooter. And oh my God, you got to see, we have so much stuff. We're decorated now red, white, and blue for the season. So like there's not a surface in my living room and dining room that is not red, white, and blue, like dolls and Raggedy Ann and Andy's and Campbell Soup Kids and just like so much stuff. And T Tommy loves Anna Lee dolls. So he's got oh, yeah. an extensive yeah. Anna Lee collection. I think they're the ugliest doll in the world, but not ugly enough like the dolls me and Gina like. Then, you know, they're ugly just because their mother didn't love them. <laughs> <laughs> the dolls me and Gina like are ugly because someone hurt them. Yep. Oh, yeah. Just because Gina threw them on the ground and backed over them twice with her car. <laughs> uh oh, she's up to it. Are we talking about the impersonation of me? Maybe. Yes, that's exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> uh oh. See, oh she's mad. See, she's mad. That's what it sounds like when they're mad. Well, I'm glad you all thought it was funny. Now I'm dead. <laughs> 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 oh my god i'm scared i know you and tommy tommy loves the campbell soup kids too really see she says she's not mad you're oh, okay, okay. <laughs> then you are the gift that keeps on giving every time you come on camp <laughs> and tell me about your day at work i love it I love it. <coughs> what happens today, Angela? Was you, did you have a good day or a bad day? Oh, good. She loves impersonations. Yes. Well, you know she didn't have a good day. She don't ever have a good day over there. No. no. Perhaps, Gina, you should send her the uh, voodoo doll so she can pretend she's stabbing the patients. Very true. Oh, she was home doing errands. That's nice. Oh, I had a, well, she had a good day then. Had a three day weekend, which was nice. Yeah, I she often, had a good day. I often work on the weekends, but I, I I took off. So we we had a nice weekend this past weekend. And this weekend if yeah, is yeah. my Tommy's sixtieth birthday on Saturday. What? Happy yep. birthday. Day. I wish I had known. Once a year, I got to give them, you know, you know, you do a Carvel ice cream cake every year. I love Carvel so much. I miss you know, it. That's what you got to do for your husband on his on his birthday. You got to give him a cake. She will use her uh, voodoo doll to get me. 60 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Poor bastard. <laughs> I have not been to New York well, since 2017. I miss it so much. I used to go like every four or five months. Yeah. My best friend lived in Manhattan, so I would go see her all the time. Rick and I got married at City Hall in New York, in Manhattan. Rick Fontaine. Really? Rick Fontaine, I know you hear me. I know <laughs> you hear me. Don't be scared. I have some questions for you. I'd like to be do. Very scared, Rick. Yeah. Be very afraid. <laughs> Stu Spizio gets to know Rick Fontaine. I know. I'm going to go get him. I'll try not to call him Dick Fontaine, but it is acceptable to call a Richard a Dick. Oh, it is. His friends call him Dick Fingers because he plays the keyboard as well as guitar. <laughs> <laughs> That you just, never told us that. Yeah, that was, yeah I'll, I'll never lose that. He will I never know. be here now either if he heard me. That's burned in my brain forever. <laughs> and and you hear it to the Bond song, right? Rick okay. Fingers, he's the man, the man with the magic. Look at Kitten blush. She knows. She knows what happens. Kitten's like. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah. I'm married to a guy in a band. I'm that chick. I'm that chick that was sloppy drunk on the dance floor. And I made the googly eyes to the guitar player. Now I'm his wife. And I have a t-shirt of every band that ever existed. Because on all of our spare time, we go see other musicians. I have Rick won't go to a theme park. He just won't. <laughs> It's concerts, concerts, concerts. Rick sometimes sings to me when I'm in the bath. <laughs> he comes in, sits on a stool, strums a bars, tiny bubbles. I fall in love with him more and more every time he plays with those sticky fingers. What kind of fingers were they called? <laughs> Rick <laughs> It wasn't sticky. <laughs> I couldn't hold them up. I couldn't hold the memory long enough for the zero. <laughs> How could you forget that? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Meow, kitten. Meow. Meow, Sue. I'm trying to get him in a little bit. <laughs> scared. He should no. be. I I'm well, I don't know what he's doing. He just got off work. My, my cat likes to be lint brushed. See Tom lint brushing the cat? Oh, it is a lint brush. <laughs> yeah. He, he asks for it every day. He Aww. puts his nose to it and he shows Tom like it's time for the lint brush. He also likes so you know, because I'm handicapped, I have the grabber to get things. Yeah. So when I grab my grabber, my cat thinks that it's for me to squeeze him. So he loves oh. to have his head he likes to have his head squeezed with my grabber. He's weird. He's in the right family. <laughs> He is in the right family. That's so cute. Barb, you are not going to be 69. <laughs> Bye, Gabby. My love, my heart. She's so Gabby. gorgeous. I know she's beautiful. Stay gorgeous. safe, Gabby. I want to, I'm gonna have to check. Yeah. Oh my I god, and she had the camera at an angle that was so flattering, not like oh. this. Right. I need to watch that. Yeah, it that that video of the three of them talking about that estate sale of the adventures of the estate sale and what they got is unbelievable. It's a funny story, plus they got fantastic things. Bye, Gabby. Bye, Gabs. <laughs> Take care, Gabby. <laughs> all right, you girls all done selling? We calling it bedtime? Uh, I don't know. We kind of gave up because we got too busy laughing. I know. We were uh, <laughs> see, that's why we, see, this is what happened on Tammy's channel, and we didn't get invited back because <laughs> we distracted from the sales. <laughs> right, <Tammy? laughs> You'll never see me and Tom again. This is our <laughs> final call. Oh, Angela just saw your other impersonation. Oh, my God. I can't say. You have to determine who you think it was, Angela. <laughs> <Sealed. laughs> oh, my God. It sounds a little bit like a horse neigh, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. A little bit. A little bit. I don't know. Now, I paid $30 for that. I can't take a dollar for that. <laughs> Tom, Tom she's specifically yelling at him. <laughs> she probably is. Oh. Hmm? She probably is. You're right. <laughs> She's got connections. She can get people on and off of eBay. So gotta be I did not say who it was. <laughs> Angela, did you see the one I did of you yet or not yet? She did, I think. I think she liked oh, it. Oh, look, Tammy says, oh, now you'll be back. Oh, sure. Now that you've picked me out to another channel. <laughs> Try the bidding war. <laughs> you got to track. Do I make your sales worse? If I make your sales worse, you better not invite me back. 
<laughs> no, but there would be a bidding war of her time with Sue. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Christina was here, Yvonne. Yeah, oh. she was here before. Mm -hmm. See, this would be the bidding war for Sue and Thomas. It'd be like, like that's right. We'll work for okay. friend now. We'll work we're for friend gonna now. Start, we're going to start at $45. <laughs> so just know it's starting at 45 So put the four and the five in the chat. And no, no, no. Now, 46, we're going to have $5 increments. That's right. That's right. Once we get over 100, we're going to go in $50 increments. <laughs> I'm going to have raffle tickets, and the name I call will get my present panties. There you go. <laughs> but I'll tell you, I may purposefully pull Delbert. I, I'm just saying. I love that. It wouldn't pull Nate because it would be just a waste. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yvonne, we have a house full to sell. This look at my house. Look at how like he's bending over now. See that mess? All all of it. You could have all of it. This is this is um the office in my house. So this is the messiest room. But this is where I, I spend all my time and have the majority of my uh, Reggae Dan and Andy stuff in here, too. So, yeah, so I'm partial to redheaded and orange headed things. And here comes my son. <laughs> so, yeah, Tommy and I never had children together. I came in with a daughter. He came in with a son. That's why we had to have the, uh, the evil cat. Well, there you go. What is your son? Yeah, perfectly. Is he another Tom? He can't hear me, can he? He can hear you. His, he, he, he's a, he is also Tom. So um, when I call Tom, when we're, we're together, mm -hmm. my husband, I always usually mean my husband. My husband never usually answers me, and my son does. <laughs> so like every single time, what? I was like, not you, your father. And then I say, Tommy, and nothing. Tommy plays deaf, right? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So if you, when you're a caregiver, all right, which Tom is, and he's excellent at it, he knows that if I call his name, he's, he's got to do something. something. He's got to do something, right? He's got he's to gotta help me into bed. He's got to change a diaper. Whatever the frick he's got to do, he's got to do something. So he plays deaf for a while. I think I'm going to get a bell. You know, yeah. Tommy, <laughs> Tommy, I need a little water. That's the one I can send you. <laughs> the Gina Bell. Shut up, Thomas. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you pretend you don't hear me. Tommy, I need insulin. He's like, can I give you insulin yesterday? It's like, yes, but I need, I'm a diabetic. I need it every day. Can I have it today too? Can I please have some insulin? Didn't we already do that this week? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, so, and so the power has shifted. When I was not disabled, I was really more the bossy one and in charge. But Tom is in charge of everything now. Everything we eat, all the food shopping, the cleaning, the housework, the taking care of me. So like tuna fish casserole. It's not gonna be any freaking tuna in this house. How many times I gotta freaking tell you? No tuna. There's no tuna coming to this house. Has it. No, there's no tuna. Oh god. Um, I must send a oh. can of tuna in your next package. <laughs> <laughs> and this is going to be such an odd reference that only old people, at least my age, are going to know. There was a movie with Charlton Heston in the 70s, and it was called Soylent Green. And the premise of the movie is that when you lived out your life, they mashed you into food. And that was the food for the next population. And they showed like the visual of the mashed up humans. And it really looked like tuna. 
because I think I ate tuna before that movie. And all I know is that when I hear tuna, I think of that scene in the movie. Barbley, you saw it? Oh, thank you. No one ever knows what I'm talking about. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. Charlton wow. Heston, Soylent Green. Yep. And it could happen. Sounds delicious. What are you, what are you guys all binging on now? <laughs> what are you watching? I'm not, I'm not watching well, I, I watch YouTube now, Sue. It's Big Brother. It just started yesterday. Yes, I watched it. What did you think of the of of the opening night? I just thought it was okay. Me. Yeah. yeah. I knew I, I need excited more. about it. But you know what? I'm the fat kid that didn't get picked till last, right? So I felt bad because you knew he wasn't going to get picked. <laughs> that poor guy. I, he seems like he's got an amazing personality. Yeah. I was. They want to win challenges, so fat people get picked less. I hope he takes a dump in everyone's room and wins the game. <laughs> I'm voting for he, He's fat, he's gay, and he's the son of Joe Frazier, the greatest, one of the greatest five boxers of all time. He deserves to win because daddy probably didn't leave him any money. Yeah, oh, I, I saw it. Oh, of like course, you love the fat guy. There's like nine guys with six packs on the show. <laughs> well, I was it, looking, it, I was like, that first group, the one that he's in, the Jokers or whatever, I was like, that's probably my favorite people. So that's right. cool that they were in together because, you know, you got, what's his name, Frenchie or whatever that stayed in there wearing like overalls, like camo overalls. And <laughs> then you yeah. got. You know, this guy that she's talking about, you know, like complete misfits. And they all kind of got together in this group and made this one little group. So I was like, okay, I like them. So I, I finished um, Handmaid's Tale for the season. I, I, I finished, too. I, I did uh, Mayor of East Town. I loved it. I did so Wentworth, which was phenomenal. And I you know how it. Like, it gives you like a recommendation so it gave me a recommendation for Pretty Little Liars. That's so I didn't do any. I didn't do any research on it, and I started watching it. So I'm at about season one, episode ten, one night, and I'm like, "This has got to wrap up soon. How many episodes could there be?" So I said, "Let me just watch one more, one more." There were twenty something episodes. When I was at ten, I was only halfway through season one. So I figured now I'm in season three. It's all about four teenagers and their friends trying to figure out a mystery, right? It's Scooby Doo without the dog, right? The yeah. four, it's Velma, it's Shaggy, although there's no Shaggies. Yeah, they're and all beautiful. My friend finished it. It's seven seasons, like 160 episodes, okay? My friend finished it. She says to me, I'm just going to tell you right now, you never find out who the killer is. <laughs> After seven years. I was like, I'm going to watch 160 freaking episodes, and I'm still not going to know? <laughs> no, it's wrong. Plus, it's the show so endorses funny. teenagers having sex with adult teachers. <laughs> like, it's like, that's romanticized. I'm like, oh, yeah. oh, I'm still a mother. Okay, now, I did have my own little thing with a teacher when I was a kid, but that's, you know, off the record. And definitely not romanticized. But I can't believe like you're like you root, you're rooting for this 16 year old and teacher. To, oh no, oh no. Look oh, Tommy it's a oh no. Bring it. Come, come closer to the camera, Thomas. Aww. Oh, you need a paper towel. Don't come near me with that damn thing. <laughs> Don't come near me. I will. Just stay on your so stay on your fucking side. Stay there. Oh my god. I haven't seen this thing in years because it lives downstairs and I haven't been this part of my house. I haven't seen in years where this thing lives. Oh my God. Oh, how many, how, you know, a lot of paper towels mm -hmm. here. Yeah, that's good. Just don't come anywhere near me. Here. Ew. God damn it. Hi, Christine. Nice to see you here. Oh, um, excuse me. I TV it's so disgusting. He's drying it off. <laughs> I can't. I can't. That's another thing. See, when he got in charge, he snuck in animals because we had a prenup, no pets. 
He's like, yeah, so you're going to be the same. I can't do anything about it. No, so what am I going to do? Aw, he's she is cute, Lexi. I can't. Hey, Jana, she could clean your fish tank for you. Yeah. Unbelievable. Come the other way, hun. Come, you're not coming in, in. Oh, you're drying it again? Is it peeing? What's no, happening there? Now, he's not our first. Our first passed away. Oh. But Tom, Tommy grieved less than 24 hours and then went to go. <laughs> I just thought, I mean, I hate them, but I just thought it was disrespectful. You, you, could, you, got, you get it the next day. Yeah. Is it a red ear spider or a yellow? Red ear spider. Oh, 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 you got one of that moment. Did you see it? <laughs> yes. Do it again, Tommy. Make it do it again. <gasps> Hello. Oh my god, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> oh, I you can see it. I now, love he's... turtles. He escaped. Oh, look at it. Oh. So, so he escaped once. She. she it, it, whatever. So in the room where it lives, Tommy has like uh, industrial shelving where we have all of our um, all of our different china patterns. So he has like the brown hull drip and, you know, the Campbell soup kids, like all the different china. Not china, but dishes. And this guy escapes a 70 gallon tank. 40. 40 gallon. Okay, it's not pertinent to the story. Let's split the difference. <laughs> a 62 yes, gallon does. tank. I love the Elvis. She opens her mouth every time. Wow. So the turtle <laughs> launches itself across the room <laughs> and climbs up. On the, I, I can't. I can't even tell the story. How can I can't? I climbs up on the bottom shelf and starts whipping cold brown drip all across the floor and breaking it. Oh no! Well, Tom, it's got paper. I know. <laughs> I love when Tom has the gloves on. Sometimes you play a different game. <laughs> oh, my God. I've never seen it that close. I was going to say, is that normal? No. You know, so one time we had um, a little bit of a power loss. So Tom insisted that the whole family had to be together in one room. Me, Tom, Dexter the cat, and Lexi the turtle. Okay. And we had like the lanterns on and Tom was telling the animals stories, you know, like as if they, you know, whatever, you know, guys, Santa's going to come and you're going to get, pre whatever. All of a sudden I hear, <laughs> so I was like, Tom, are you making that noise? So he goes, no, that's the turtle. I was like, there's no freaking way. So he goes, it's the turtle. So he covered his mouth and then I heard again, like the turtle makes noises. I had no idea. I thought it was Tom effing with me with the fake noises. <laughs> no, Tom got bit once by the old turtle. The other turtle escaped once. Tom got bit on the belly. The turtle put himself under the furnace. And when Tom picked it out up, up from under the furnace, he got scared. And the, the, door, uh, the, the turtle bit Tom on the stomach. For about one month, Tom had a, a bruise that looked like the target circle. It was hysterical. <laughs> hysterical. <laughs> I can't believe that you're, it's like you're making it happen. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of cute. Yeah. That's cute. I love her. Does she know her name? I don't know anything about turtles, really. Like pet turtles. Do they know voices or? No. She speaks five languages. What do we know? We have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> he only know. understands me when I speak Mandarin. <laughs> <laughs> She's got one word. It's. <sighs> She's fluent in Russian. <laughs> she takes. You want to clean Gina's fish? Oh, it's so disgusting. Yeah. So there goes the prenup that said no pets. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go put her back. Yeah, please do. Please do. Aww. <laughs> Wash Poor your baby. hands. 
Yeah, she had clothes though. What do you need to wash his hands for? <laughs> they, carry, like, they carry like salmonella. They're like they're not. They carry disease. You're not supposed to touch them with their. He, good thing he knows the, with the gloves because I would go crazy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we have a 70 gallon fish tank that was unauthorized. Yeah. So when when I became disabled, little by little, because I couldn't go in that part of the house, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know that wildlife was coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Give my eggs, they'll take a mile. <laughs> right? It's crazy. Where did Linda go? That reminds me, like, when I was young, like, imagine this. I would go and, like, capture animals outside and bring them in the house, you know, because that's just what I did. But, <laughs> like, I brought in a box of, like, snakes for my mom one time, all kinds of stuff. Well, we lived on the lake, and there was uh, there was some little baby ducks that I found that had hatched. So I went out and got these little baby ducks and brought them in. And my dad was, like, laying on the floor. He didn't have a shirt on. He was laying on the floor. And he had, like, a mole right here under his arm, one of those that's kind of like a skin tag, you know, that comes off. One of these little baby ducks just went flying over there and just latched onto that mole under his oh, arm. No. And it would not let go. He's like standing up going, get this thing up. And he's like walking around the house and it's just hanging up. That would make America's funniest videos. Right? It was That's hilarious. <laughs> Yvonne, you know, my, like, birthday, my birthday, Yvonne, is August the 15th. I'm a Leo and I'm going to be 62 on my next birthday. And probably sending it here on YouTube. <laughs> Angela wants to know if you're done selling. I guess she has somewhere to go. So She's a very busy girl. She is. She's in high demand. All right. So everybody, you heard when her, Sue's birthday is. So make sure you get her address and everybody send her a can of tuna for her birthday. <laughs> To God, I'll never talk to you together again. I just so disgusting. I don't want it in my house. Soylent Green, Carlton Heston. I swear. <laughs> They're so disgusting. How do people eat it? It stinks. And then sometimes it's packed in water, packed in oil. You open yeah. up the can, the room stinks like the a fish's ass. Yeah, I don't. Don't 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 get the kind with the oil. That's that's gross. But the oh, kind that's of those gross. Are fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So it's Tom's birthday actually Saturday. Is that what you said? Yeah, saying? he's 60 Saturday. So we'll be here on uh usually on Saturday night we visit Pamela. He loves Pamela too. Yeah. <sighs> Who doesn't? I know, we all do. Yeah, she and her Kellyanne are they're great. I haven't nailed her down yet. Um, but I, I, she gives a lot of material too. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. She, Rick loves watching her. He laughs a lot. Yeah, she's, I mean, she's the house I want to go have a cup of coffee in, right? Yeah. Some crumb cake and some coffee with Pam Bama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he grew up in. Um, yeah, it's not crumb yeah. cake in Alabama though. It's pound cake. Oh, it's pound, yeah, pound cake. cake. With your coffee. No, yeah. before you go, Sue. No, before you go. <laughs> Sue, do you? Do I? You do. Sue, oh, do you do best? Your best. What does that mean? I think she's trying to say, "Do your best." Yvonne hey, told me to come you. here, and I'm so happy. Hey, Jody. <laughs> I I met. I saw Jody for the first time the other day. See, see, so through everybody else, I'm I'm learning new channels. I yeah. watched some today. I don't know what the heck her name was, but she's a creator that sells her own stuff. She makes her own dolls, but like they're not like a doll to play with. They're like a doll on a shelf. I think her name is like Pop It something. So she makes these dolls where she has like a head, and then she makes like a body out of like a cone, and then. All I know is that this handmade thing, 
went for 68 freaking dollars. I got to figure out how to shove a doll head on a cone. To get an ice cream cone covered in fabric. But this this girl makes is making a living making these creations. I saw her for the first time today. Anybody know who I'm right, there it is. Uh, Amy Pop and yeah. Pop Shop. It's amazing what this girl creates. Amazing. Hello, dear friends. I'm loving you all. Sue, you have a got to be from New Jersey. Well, <laughs> guilty as charged. <laughs> I am from New Jersey. Yeah, check out that Amy Rock and Pop if you want to see like a really talented, unique piece of art that you like nobody else is making. Nobody. It's and true. real literally, this little I don't think it was five inches tall, went for $68. Mm -hmm. And I, but every single one is a one of a one of a kind piece of art creation. Her husband mm -hmm. is from Three Dogs Night, the band. Mm -hmm. The real Three Dogs Night? The lead singer, I think. Has he met Rick Dick Fingers Fontaine? <laughs> what? I've got to look at his name. We've met some. Uh, three dogs. Gina likes the turtle. Yes, they loved your turtle. They loved that whole presentation with the, the jaws, like it was Jurassic Park with that, that thing. <laughs> his name is Chuck Negron. All right, so I. Okay, here's the closest I've ever she come. Did a little hole punching on some paper. I did go to a Hootie and the Blowfish concert. Yeah. That happened. Did but I can only count the concerts I've been to, like on maybe one hand. I just I, I saw Cat Stevens. That's all. Awesome. Sly Family Stone. Lion Family Stone. Oh, what? Okay. James Taylor. Yeah. Those are um, good Elton John and uh, Billy Joel twice. <laughs> That me. Sorry about that. Oh, the sad girl that married the governor. Oh, she was thin, then she got fat and got multiple sclerosis. <laughs> what the hell's her name? Oh, Linda Ronstadt. Linda Ronstadt. I saw her in concert. She was great before she, she got sick. Yeah, her voice. Her voice, right? <laughs> but you know, Stevens. He no longer tours anymore. If, if you had to say, like, for a dead artist, not an artist that's alive today, the one that you would want to see because you never got to see, for me, it would be 100% Michael Jackson. That's who I'd want to see. How about you guys? Uh, John Lennon. Well, the Beatles, but if I had to pick one, it would be John Lennon. Or Jimi Hendrix. What about you, Gina? Or Tom? John Wayne Gacy? Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> was we, got, we got some in he the... He was in an the, artist. Angela, um, says, Angela says Queen, uh, classical sources Janis Joplin, Prince for Yvonne. Mm. Judy, yeah. you're in Jersey? What county are you in, Jody? She is in Maine, Sue, but she wants. Oh, to she's in Maine now. Yes, yeah, so I did watch her the other night. I don't know who she was selling with. She was. I, was you? Who were you selling with the other night? Because that's how I found you. Yes, yeah, so I. You know, like I keep on finding new people through other people. You know that you don't normally know. I had never seen Gabby Lish before. I was so excited to see her. I was like, oh my god, she's so gorgeous. She's very beautiful. Oh, I probably go to the uh, Credence. Credence Clara. I could not name yeah. one Credence song. Not one. No idea. Tommy, who would you go see? He hates, he hates when I play games. Like Jimi Hendrix oh, he said Jimi Hendrix. Okay. Okay. But this, so this is not the man that Tommy likes. He's like, I don't play games. <laughs> he married would the you, wrong woman. Plants in your tank? Say it louder, hon. You have live uh, plants in your fish tank, Jeannie. Do you have live no. plants? No. Uh, Barely have live have... fish in there. Hey, Tom. The turtle would get those. I want, I'll, I'll send Tom a picture. We have two tanks, and Rick grows the uh, plants. Ah. One Hi, is Terry. a puffer tank, and they're all puffer fish. They're very sensitive. Yes. 
he had to grow um, shrimp in the garage because they would only eat live. Oh, they baby. would only eat the live food. Yeah, they, yeah, so hard to take care of. Very hard. Don't worry, the turtle can clean the tank out for you. So, Jody, Tom is my husband of 20 some years, right? Yeah, but and he's, and he's having a birthday on Saturday. We're going to celebrate by watching Pam. Mom, my turtle spoiled too because she like eats, like, if we have shrimp. We gotta, I gotta give her a couple of pieces. She loves that. Who'll stop the rain? I know that song. That's Credence. No. Yeah, that's CPR. Okay, that one I know. All right, so I knew one. Who'll stop I love the rain? Credence. I know, Tom. So Tom, I said his number one, his, I would say his number one collection is the Anna Lee dolls, right? That's what you have more of than oh, anything yeah. else. But he also collects Coca-Cola. So, you know, all those trays yeah. behind Katie, yeah. we have, that, we have that same wall and more. <laughs> we have a Coca-Cola room, right? So the room is Coca-Cola. Um, he collects cast iron because he's into cooking. So all cast iron, he restores. He if they're her. rusty, whatever he can restore them all. But um, he collects salt and pepper shakers. He collects cat figurines, as you know. I um, love the buying more though. Yeah, he. We 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 are both on a restricted buying because together we spent um, fifteen hundred dollars last month from YouTube sales. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna just try to. Um, Restrict the buying till we can pad up the account. Yeah. I know. We'll have to figure out, Yvonne, when Tom gets mobile with a camera. This is our first time. We, ne we never in a, a million years imagined that we'd be talking to people on YouTube. I mean, ever. I'm a, sh I'm, I'm a shut-in that never leaves her house. All my relationships with my friends are by phone. I don't have FaceTime because I don't have an iPhone. So, Except for the Chihuahua. The, co the, co the coronavirus gave me an outlet to shop, which yeah. these ugly dolls and, you know, and, and unfortunately, uh, Tom wasn't watching. He didn't know. And he was watching his own stuff, you know, like, you know, he likes storage lockers, like finding out what's in those and swamp yeah. diggers finding out what's in the, you know, like, so he had his own little world, you know. And then he started to see me get packages and he's like, what are you watching? So now he watches and then he developed a little bit of a shopping problem where um, with us both shopping, it was not good. So then, yes, like about a week ago or so, someone said to me that I quote unquote had to get Instagram. So I have it now. I have no idea really how to use it. I see on the bottom that I get a notification. I get like a heart notification, a message notification, and a people notification. But I can't pick all three. I can only pick one, and then the other ones are gone. So I'm like, I don't understand that at all. Yeah. And then someone's telling me, like, you got to tell a story. It's like, but the story's going to be gone in a day. Well, why would I want to tell a story if it's going to be gone? <laughs> in a day? That doesn't make any freaking sense. If I got a yeah. story to tell, I'm going to tell it. So <laughs> then I started to uh, follow who I could figure out. And like already in a week, I have like 50 followers. I was like, I got one picture like of on there too, maybe. And I don't know what to put on it next. But yes, maybe we'll start taking pictures of our collections and put them in. You are too, Barb. Yes, it's 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 hard. You know, I it, it, it's I work from home, so this this chair that I'm sitting in. I've been doing my job in for 24 years and I got disabled 12 years ago, but I was already homebound because of the job. So it, it only enhanced the disability that I was not moving, yeah. you know? So yeah, there, I live in a, um, a three bedroom split house. So I have not seen the lowest level of my house, which is the family room, laundry room, garage, like that area. Now. In years, I haven't been downstairs because too many flights, too much steps. The turtle owns that room now. Yeah, the turtle. <laughs> well, the other thing too is 
like when they built these houses in the 50s, you know, they didn't think to put bathrooms on every level, you know. Yeah. So, uh, you know, if I, if I get to the bottom level, what am I going to do? I, it's like, you know, two flights of stairs to go back upstairs to pee. So, like, no, it's not, not even worth it. Mm -hmm. For sure. Oh, we're we're just thrilled. Tommy and I have been like giddy about this for a week because this is this is definitely me, my personality. This is not Tom, right? So this was a stretch for Tom to come online to show his face, to put his two cents in because he's good with the two cents in the comments, right? But oh, yeah. I didn't know, I didn't really know if it was going to happen. I you know like and whether or not you know the last thing we want to do is make fun of each other, which, my God, I mean, we've got 25 years of stuff that we can make fun of each other, on, right? But you don't want to be um, you know, abusive to each other for the laugh. Like, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. <laughs> Shut up, oh. Thomas, because that's what I need you to do right now. Shut, Shut up, up, Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> I like the first time Gina said it. She was like, the meter voice, like shut up, Thomas. I lived for that night. The first time he came out. <laughs> oh, they're all saying they love you, Thomas. Like, can you see it? <laughs> He's all right. I'll keep him. No. Thank I you. know, Jody. Right. So that this has a word. This little space. It's called a dystemia. Mm -hmm. Diastema. <laughs> Dia you say dystemia, I say diastema. I don't know what it's called. I just call it the space between my front two teeth. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's genetic. My mother had it. But it didn't get this far till after my divorce from my first husband when I became a, uh, what do you call that? That um, TMJ. Oh, okay. I got TMJ from stress and tongue thrusting and fist clenching in the night. So I got carpal tunnel. <laughs> what did you get from your divorce? I got carpal tunnel. <laughs> I just, just a, rock, a, rock, a bigger crack of my teeth. My first, <laughs> my first husband was so rude. He would, when he was done kissing me, he would blow so that it would whistle to let me know he was done. I'm like, what am I, a freaking dog? This husband never noticed it. He doesn't even know. So thanks for telling him. He never knew it was there. <laughs> hi, Dexter. Say hi. See, there's your buddy. He's so cute. He is. So spoiled. Yeah. I would love that dog. He would love you guys. Wouldn't you? We got to send the cat to the rescue to see if there's another one. And Jody, I'm also a natural redhead. Damn it. 2% of the entire world population I'm representing. Okay? That's a lot on my shoulders. An Italian <laughs> redhead with freckles. Weird. Very weird. And then I married the second time a non-Italian. That's why I had to teach him how to cook. Because he was trying to make some sour broughton. I'm like, no, I'm not having that shit. Get the you put the ginger snaps next to the tuna, and don't put ginger snaps in my meat. It's not happening. He tried once. Oh, it was disgusting. Red cabbage hot. It's like, no, 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 no. You got to learn. You got to learn how to cook Italian. Got to keep mom happy. Bye, Angela. I hope you do. I think Tommy. It's nine o'clock. We should probably say good night too. What do you think? Oh yeah, you got work, huh? Oh, that's Tommy, right. Tommy gets up at four, but we ah. have yeah. He starts starts work at seven, so he gets up at four. Um, that's yeah, but um, every other Thursday he's off. So when you have a Wednesday night late well, night, don't worry. Do you know save a cup of coffee? You have you? a cup of coffee. Oh, thank um, you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for inviting us. Oh my gosh. For letting me make fun and tease you two <laughs> and anybody who's been in the room. Um, <laughs> thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the emotional and moral support. <laughs> Buy from these ladies. They're wonderful. Don't forget oh, to yeah. leave a thumbs up, <laughs> comment, and subscribe to their world and to yeah. my new world. 
And uh, until we meet again in someone else's room, thank you for all the support. I love you guys. Thank we you. We got to come back again. Not that I got this thing working, right? Yeah. I, we, yeah. I would. This love was like the trial run, you know. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Get all the kinks out. Hell yeah. yeah. We adore both of you. You two are. I mean, you're our friends. We love you guys. This is a good, this yeah. is a good safe place for us. You know, like when you're a couple that don't like share a hobby, I mean, obviously we share vintage flea markets and stuff, but in the house, we don't like the same kind of television. You know, yeah. Tom's watching Vlog the Bounty Hunter and I'm watching Big Brother. Like there's no, there's the, you know, it's not happening. That we found a common place to sit and hang and laugh and say, so, you know, <laughs> can you another laugh? I'm never going to look at her the same way again. No, I know. Ooh, I'm so sorry. The horse is nay. The best is I paid $40 for this. Look it up on eBay yourself. Yeah. Take a break. Take a minute. Sign out. Refresh. Look up on eBay. <laughs> look it up on eBay. <laughs> I guess I haven't looked enough. I actually I witnessed that one afternoon. <laughs> Tommy turned to me and goes, this lady's crazy. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, that lady's crazy right to the bank. I says, because she's supporting the whole family on that kind of crazy. So we're doing something wrong. <laughs> sure. Absolutely, was, right? We love you, yep. Jody. And, and Linda, maybe you and certain someone should also come on. I don't think Tammy would, but. So on that note, my husband and I oh, have that. been very pleased to be here, and we're going to oh, wish yeah. you all a wonderful night, and we'll see you soon in other rooms. Bye, everybody. All right. Love you guys. Have a good night. Good night Love you, guys. too. Thanks for, thanks for having us. Yeah, one more shut up, Thomas, for sure. Okay. One more for the night. Shut up, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have a great all. night. We I love you all. That you guys. Bye.